とこめいみん
チョコミミー。Must be the better witch and bear with their menial yapping. Huh? That's right. Mimi Mu Mei Ma or whatever. Hello, I'm delighted to meet your acquaintance today. Mimi, though, I don't know who that girl is. You must be speaking of. Oh, perhaps a lass from another dimension or so. Ah, yes, the one that was it fell asleep and never even enrolled in the academy. How、oh, boorish of her! One cannot show their face in society without the proper credentials, don't you know? <sighs> hmm. Are you interested in my green attire? Yes, green is a lovely color, isn't it? <sighs> I do think a proper witch need a perform the proper amount within good society nowadays. <sighs> What do you think? A lovely shade of green. Green, just like arsenic. Green, just like poison toads. Yes, a very storied color, I would say. And of course, dark hair for a dark mage. The only practice the finest of dark mage. Thank you. I see. You're already paying tribute to the one true mage on this channel, Majoko. I'm ready, a majo. I am. Well, actually, why don't you take a guess on my name? I'm curious to know what the rabble think of me. I must entertain the masses, after all. I don't really like that、uh, green implication. I do believe there are much prettier green items that you could reference. Hmm. E mame. Close, close. The right idea. Baby. Hmm. Close, close. Why don't you turn things upside down a little bit today? <sighs> Money me. What? Are you implying I don't have money? I'll have you know, money is of no consequence to 
a mage such as myself? Mm hmm. Exactly. My name is Mado Wei From a royal noble line. A very storied line of dark mages. You see, my family history goes on for centuries longer than the longest recorded human civilization. And as you may have noticed, my hat, yes, it is also handed down from the same lineage. Not Majojo. Hmm. <laughs> You must put the M upside down and get a W. That's correct. And... I will have you know, I did not put my name in a goblet of fire. Whatever that is. Please. We use proper goblets around here. Made out of solid... gold and silver. To prevent any poison from reaching our lips, of course. Now... I hear many mages such as myself do something of a charity. Is it? We perform, what is it? Public fortunes? Fortune telling? Ah, yes, your kind does not naturally, naturally, uh, learn or acquire anything of the arcane. Correct? You must borrow our powers to even glimpse into the future. Well, we have many, many noble and uh, traditional methods. But I am a bit of an oddball in my family, I must, I must admit. We... We do have the likes of crystal balls. We do have the likes of tarot reading, but... I am... I am of the opinion that mages need... Well, we need dabble in that of... What the commoners know to keep ourselves relatable, you know? To keep ourselves within the know. After all, it's no good to be outdated when, bless their hearts, humans are trying to replicate our methods now and then. So... Oh, ostracized? <sighs> ah. We... We only show ourselves to those we, derm we deem worthy or those who... You know, jingle the right... Coins. After all... While we do have... Quite a... Quite a whole coffer... Of jewels... Oh... Human currency changes so quickly... And it's kind of hard to show yourselves at a bank and ask for, oh, you know, your late grandmother's keys to the vault when you look the spitting image of her. After all, you are her. Although, I'm sure to many of you, I look not a day older than 121. Hmm. But I am in fact Many centuries older than that. Comes with the territory of dabbling in the dark arts. So yes, we do need to exchange coins every now and then. To get the latest gadgets, after all. Yes, I don't look a day over 3,000. Why? I am, I am flattered. You do know how to make a dark mage feel good about themselves. Hmm. Oh, animals. Are those... Are those things still around? Why? <gasps> How quaint. I'm sorry. I don't... I'm afraid I don't keep up the latest bestiary nowadays. After all... My favorites were always with the... You know... The animals that... Are of the mystical... Kind to... You, the... Creatures of lore, such as dragons and griffins, 
phoenixes? Oh, mermaids, I have quite a few good friends amongst their number. You know, every now and then, performing magic does get a little old. So I put on a couple of bubble spells, dive down deep, and... Well, let's just say the Titanic didn't sink itself, did it? There's a, pub there's a couple other boats that you guys haven't figured out yet, but... For now, for now those are our personal playgrounds. Do you have... Do you have any personal encounters? With mermaids and other mystical creatures? Oh, yes, Tomoe is a good friend, you see. Tomoe... Tomoe is a bit of a... A younger... A younger undead? Yes. I don't want to offend. I hope undead is an uh, acceptable term nowadays, you know? People get so offended if I say things like... Ghost or banshee or why they say I'm I'm only half dead. I'm a I'm a poltergeist or I was never dead at all. You never know. Oh, like the headless the the flying Dutchman. Yes. <sighs> yes, I I never know what people nowadays are offended by. I hope undead is is a umbrella term that is acceptable. Kokomi, the mermaid. Ah, yes. She... That's... That's what she's going by nowadays. How adorable. Well, whenever she's done playing with her little, uh, soldier games. Her little... Mm, you know what you guys play? Those, like, real-time tactical strategy games, but with real lives. <laughs> she does like... She does like to mess around with... Mortals in that way. Why, my hat is adorable. I won't have you say a thing against her. <sighs> Although, her name is not Hattie. Now that is, that is too common of a name for such a mystical artifact. You'll have to, you'll have to address it by a better one. I can't reveal its true name. That would expose the nature of this creature and undo the magics. We cannot have it unravel. Last time it happened, uh, perhaps like, was it five centuries ago? Now, I know none of you were alive to have heard of such a thing, but uh, that magical explosion, well, it may have, it may have blown off. A piece of the earth. Yes, your earth... Your earth was a little bit... Less globular back then. We smoothed it out a little bit, unfortunately. Hatticus? Hmm. Perhaps. It is an acceptable replacement. We go by many pseudonyms. We can never expose our true names, after all. To give a true name gives many a power over us, such as some of the Fae. You know, they're still after us, but, you know, several centuries and several thousand years and going strong. They have not discovered our arcane secrets yet. Mm -hmm. Now, I am curious. Questions do you have for me today? Now I may answer I may answer a number of requests should I feel hmm, inclined to or generous enough to do so, but I only have time for so many before uh, my next appointment. Will I acquire GF? Well, well, GF, what does that stand for? Gold... F gold Finch. Um... Well, you may... you may acquire a Gold Finch if you have the amount of coin. And... the know-how. And perhaps a large net. In what form should we ask our questions? Well... well for now. I'm willing to entertain 
questions of many forms. Will we survive this week? Well, a week, a week is, I suppose, a long time in your lifespan. It depends. You have no handbooks for this, no, no guides. Hmm. Now that is a problem, isn't it? Karma can be quite fickle if you don't choose the proper combination of things to do while sometimes you step straight into the wrong dimension in the wrong timeline. I, I am doing the readings. I just haven't had a proper question to do a reading for. I'm afraid I don't understand your questions. Bear with me, I... I may have... A slightly, uh... Outdated handbook on humans. Is it okay to ask out a girl? What are you asking a girl out for? To... To a ritual? To... A seance? Those are... Those are, I would say... Pretty... Pretty... Hmm, pretty good introductory things to ask a girl out to. I would be quite flattered if someone brought me out broom riding. Why well, I haven't had a good... haven't had a good, uh, jaunt in a while across the skies. A different dimensional rift, perhaps. Now, I peer into many different dimensions and... I know not which one this is, so I suppose this is your lucky day. You may not catch this again in another, another year, another ten years. Why? Sometimes something can throw off, throw off a, you know, a different uh, comet, so to speak, different shooting star, and the next thing you know. You're three, di you're three dimensions off, and hard to navigate. Is it okay to eat a scroll I found in some ruins? Hmm. Well, what does the scroll say? What language is it in? And what dungeon was it in? Those are the important questions here. Purple Hattie. Purple. Purple, that's an interesting color. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not sure I've ever experimented with that color, but I'll let you know. Um, I'll try it out next time. League. Ah, yes. League is... League is one of our, uh, arcane rituals. You see, now and then, we find that the world is lacking in the, the required amount of negative energy, and we can't quite place enough curses if there's too much positivity in the air, so we do dabble in a game or two of the League of the Legends in order to promote more, what is it, toxic energy, putrid, putrid words and curses, so that we have more potent spells to cast. Mm. I do hope you guys partake in such an activity. It does help us promote such uh, curses into the common space, into the collective consciousness. Yes, yes, it's one of the most potent negative energy suppliers. Do you guys not partake in the negative energy when you play the League of the Legends? What, you, you play with a delightful aura? Do you... do you play with a happy train of thought? If you are such a creature, I... I'm afraid I might not be able to touch you. In fact, I might have to banish you to the heavens where you belong. Oh yes, there are many other games that promote... Yes, yes, the Twitter, yes. That is another place where I gather particularly heinous phrases whenever I'm, I'm, you know, hitting a roadblock and I need a particularly inspired curse 
Especially because I am just so out of the loop of what curses people say nowadays. Like, do tell me, is, is gyat a bad word or not? I have not figured this out. Hmm. Yes, other detectives. Hmm. Detectives? Actually, I'm not too... I'm not too familiar with many detectives. However, I do know some phantom thieves. I do know quite a few phantom thieves. And feral wolves. Mm hmm It kills brain cells, yes. I do hear you guys have many brain cells to spare. We do need a few dead brain cells to power our spells occasionally. Mm hmm Volunteer for banishment? Ooh. Perhaps we can perform a banishing spell. That does sound fun, does it not? Are all of you in mind? Of the same mind? Perhaps we can... Perhaps we can perform a few dark arts... This week? Now... I do hear there are many... New... Card decks? That the humans use nowadays? Is that correct? I I pulled a few from your number. Again, I am not too caught up with modern day things, but uh there is one I heard that has to do with sacrificing and monsters. Blessing, I'm afraid I only know how to curse, but uh shall we take a gander? Let me bring you over. Let me bring you over. Mimi. Now... I do have... I do have this very useful... Um... I guess this is a... Someone's leftover... Unfilled... Weekly journal... So, or so? Is that correct? Now, I'm sure they don't mind me using it. Just for reference. Now, I would hate to have to enter something twice after all. Now, I... Is this... Is this... Is this... Yu-Gi-Oh! Card deck? What the common humans use? To sacrifice monsters? And, and perform traps and spells? Do let me know. This is the first thing I found when researching the human arcane arts. Yes, it's an artifact of immense power. Sounds right. Alrighty then. Well, I suppose we have to press the generate button and see what we get. Oh. What is this? Just as advertised? A trap card? A rebound? Oh, I can see how this is a trap card after all. Many people do... What is it? Rebound? Whether it is... On purpose or not? Perhaps they rebound to a person? Ill-advised, as always. Perhaps they rebound to a... Uh, a diet? Perhaps they rebound to... Bad habits? Do you have any such... Curses placed on yourselves that you rebound often to? Now... Let me read... When your opponent activates a spell card, trap card, or monster effect that returns a card from the field to the hand... Negate that effect, and if you do... Send one card from your opponent's hand, at random, or from their side of the field to a graveyard. I do love graveyards. They're quite peaceful. In fact, have you ever been at a graveyard? Best place to have a picnic, really. No one bothers you there. Oh, and you can invite all of your best ghost, undead, immortal, unliving friends. 
And no one ever questions you. When the set card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, draw one card. Well, we did draw one card. Or I suppose someone else drew this card for me. Now look at this. And look at this creature. This unsuspecting, snoozing creature. This little puffball of a creature. It looks like many hands are reaching out for him. Hands that look quite zombie-like, but could be gargoyle-like. Or it could be even, uh, water monster-like. Many different creatures with green hands nowadays. Rebound to bed after, mm, my alarm. Yes. Rebound. Rebound basketballs. I... I don't know if that is a good or bad thing. I hope you catch them. Unhuman? Why? Unhuman is a little uns unspecific. A creature, a creature should at least be defined as different than a plant, different than an object. Those are all unhumans. Hattie is an unhuman, for example. But Hattie is not, not a traditional creature. And let me see, I would say, I would say, this Monday, this Monday, has it given you many rebounds? This card is a little bit literal, I don't know how else to interpret it, but... Have you guys rebounded on anything today? Let me just put that in. Just so we don't lose this card. It's a bit of a trap day, I suppose. You never quite know what you're going to expect on a day like this. I said today I would quit League of Legends. Oh! Well, I am quite happy if you rebound in that case. I do need more people like you to populate... Populate the, uh... The enemy teams. After all, it is quite boring to squish the same few human players. Going back to work. Oh, how adorable. You guys still... Do menial tasks like work? I see. Duly noted. Or perhaps that is just what you call your tasks nowadays. See, we we are far too important to call our work work. They are secrets beyond beyond your ken. You cannot reveal them, unfortunately. Now, I do have another, another arcane artifact to see how your day goes. I hear people enjoy things that are quote-unquote lucky, of the lucky nature, yes? Well, people seem to be very upset on low numbers and happy on high numbers, so... We do have this right here. Now. Is 20 an acceptable number? Is that a good enough judge? Or should we go a bit higher? Is 100 a little bit better? 10 and 100 in the end are divisible into each other, so... You can really take it as a percentage, can't you? Oh? A higher? I see. In that case, I might have to... Let's see. How do I change this? Hmm. One moment. Let me look for an 100 one. Oh, here it is. This one looks a little, uh, 
a little less exciting, but we can still roll it already. Seven. Hmm. Have you been having a seven day? Seven out of a hundred day? How would you rate your day? Is seven accurate? Or perhaps you have been having a higher roll day and you're about to have the seven of the day happen to you. Hmm, more of a 32? Seven days since the last Tuesday? That is how weeks work in the human calendar, I suppose. 102 now, that's not how math works. Final Fantasy VII, I don't believe that is... I don't believe that is very relevant, but... Perhaps, perhaps, someone can be alluding to things... More than out of a hundred. Well, perhaps let's do something else. Is there... Is there some other thing? Shall we flip a coin? It is heads! Well now... I believe that means you will actually win your 50-50s. After all, you have a 50% shot at winning at heads. Let's note that down. Important, important. Any other, any other important things we need to inquire? Perhaps we need to... Let's see. Is there a randomizer for this? No. Spin a wheel. Now, I don't know. It comes just out of six. But apparently you get a five out of six. Alrighty, well... We'll note that down. This is all very scientific, after all. We... Need to record everything for observations. And then present it to the... Witch Council. Let's see... What their findings are on human arcane arts. Definitely not a seven day. Oh? In what way? In a higher manner or a lower manner? Numerologist? Oh, is that the term you guys used? Now I've always just called myself a dark mage. Because it's a quite an easy catch-all term. But... I suppose there is... Many ways to... Say the same word. Now we do have this one as well. Shall we draw a card? Eight of hearts. I see, I see. You know what we're seeing? We're seeing a lot of low numbers here today. An eight, but it's hearts. Now, I would say out of the playing cards, the four suits, clover gives us off the most luck, diamonds give off the most rarity, Spades give off the most... Hmm... Menacing aura? And hearts give off the most... Innocent aura. Perhaps... Perhaps it is meaning... That you should get in touch with your own hearts or those of... Others. Now... I don't know about you, but... Hearts can get so bloody when you, uh... When you harvest them. But if you don't harvest them fast enough, well, the veins, well... They do drain of all the blood as well, and make a right mess, and smell of rust. So, my greatest advice is when you harvest hearts, especially eight of them, no less. Now, the best idea is to quickly ice them, ice them, in a bag. Do contain it, sometimes the still pumping lifeblood of a heart is quite potent in other spells so I would draw that into another beaker perhaps a stopper it and fridge it as well so it doesn't go bad and then as for the heart itself I do believe that ice as well as a lack of oxygen does keep it quite fresh for a number of days chicken hearts Yes, chicken hearts are, uh, easier to obtain, but rarity does increase potency nowadays. Are there any other 
Is there any other things we can see? Let me think. I'm sure there must be. Potency or value? Well... I guess that does depend. If you are, I presume, selling it to, for example, a witch or... Even mermaids, fairies, pixies, any number of creatures that perform rituals with the hearts. Now, potency does increase value. It is directly correlated. However, if you are, in fact, just supping on it, or even just selling it to a vampire, well, I suppose the taste determines the value instead. A little bit of a waste. If I do say so myself. Don't go selling dragon hearts to vampires. I'm sure they don't taste too much different than an ogre's or a, a common fowl's. Just a bit larger, you know. But dragon hearts, why? You can perform spells for days on those. They are pretty hard to slay now that dragons are quite endangered, but... I do keep the remaining few on a, a little tracker device, so that I know when the population goes up. And do my due diligence and harvest just enough, and then keep the population going. Enlarged hearts are bad. Perhaps in a living creature. Not so much, uh, for the purposes of rituals and sacrifice. I mean, there are many ways to keep it pumping far beyond, you know, removing it from a host. Potion tasting party. Oh, yes, those are quite fun, you see? We do have quite a few competitions to see who comes up with the newest variety of potions. Now, we do have a bit of a running, running bet with some other critters, like between you and me. There are quite a few so-called potion makers in this world that couldn't and shake a, a bay leaf at a true learned centuries old witch or mage but uh i don't want to say any names don't want to invoke any terms for you know nullifying our fair competition now i do think i do think that nowadays it's a little less fun when most of us are immune to most poisons. Nightlock is just... Just a little bit of a spicy tickle in the back of the throat. And, uh... Other poisonous mushrooms... They get a bit stale. Since everyone just overuses them. Although... I would love to see, firsthand the effects on your bodies if you're willing to participate and come to the next one. I do wonder how many hours a human can last after ingesting certain amounts of nightcap mushrooms. I do have a lovely garden cultivated of them. And, uh, oh, I love the ones that ooze as well. I wonder... If the oozing mushroom causes oozing in humans as well. You'd like the spicy poisons? Yes, well... I'm afraid we don't have antidotes enough for all of you, but... A couple of you. I wouldn't mind extending an invitation. No, I'd win. Hmm. I see. Potion Russian roulette, it is. What do we get in return? Oh, um... I think the honor of attending a witch's council meeting on the night of a full moon is enough to brag about for your entire lineage. If you if you do ever have a lineage, I don't I don't know. 
That I cannot predict very well. Oh, I'll feed it to you, all right. You, what, you will have to tell me your preference. Do you prefer a common rope binding to a stake, or what is it? Modern technology handcuffs nowadays. Apostles, we get a legacy. Yes, of course. Why, your grandchildren's grandchildren will have proof that you... your family has been in contact with witches. Now, that does not mean the same witch will, uh, recognize your grandchildren's children, but as long as you hold on to your mementos, perhaps, perhaps. Hmm. Are there any others, or should we move on to Tuesday? Oh, of course. I forgot. We do have... the most traditional of traditional... things to ask now. It's a little droll. A little droll, but... Crystal balls... Crystal balls are... accurate and... commonly used for a reason, so let's ask... the crystal ball... its thoughts. It says, ask again. Okay. Monday is an ask again kind of day. Understandable. We go next. Yes, that was all Monday. Why? How would we know? How would we know which of our scientific methods proved true if we didn't try all of them on each day? I am a very scientific witch after all. And now, we do the same. Let us see the Yu-Gi-Oh card for Tuesday. Dimension Fortress Weapon. A dark card. Machine. With an effect, cards cannot be sent from the deck to the GY graveyard. Hmm. I cannot really tell. Attack 1700. Defense 200. Is this a good card or not? 1996. Ah, yes. 1996. I believe those born in that year are quite. are quite coming into their own nowadays. I wonder if any of. Uh, any of you are as old as this card. It is all offense, isn't it? But I do believe machines are... Machines are a little brittle. They don't have any anti-magic fields erected. Dimension Fortress weapon. Well, kudos, kudos to the humans who devised this. They at the very least see a need to defend their dimension with weapons. Unfortunately, they seem to think that sending something to a graveyard is the worst offense. Why? I believe you can simply banish something to the Shadow Realm and bypass the graveyard entirely. Hmm. How well, short-sighted. Well, let us input this. Dimension Fortress Warrior. Oh, this is a weapon. And, excuse me, not a warrior. Oh, I see. Many of you are around the age of this card. Card too young. Hmm. Card younger than the card. I see. You guys are not quite adults in adult terminology. I believe you guys are then young adults. Is that how humans age? It is quite weird to think that 20% or 30% of a human's life can be considered an adult at all. Why? Witches are barely adults at 500. 500 is when they learn their first uh, dimension 
dimension rift opening spell. Otherwise, they have to kind of tag along with one of us more experienced witches. Much older than the card, I see. In that case, does that mean humans look to you for guidance when they say, I need an adult? Or is that, is that phrase a, just another euphemism? Yes, 500. 500 is when a witch is considered a true adult. After all, below 500, I mean. I'm sure they're still bumbling their spells. After all, do you think a witch isn't a true adult if they cannot hold their own against a legion of 2,000 humans? If a witch can fall victim so easily to humans, I don't believe they're quite ready to expose themselves to society at large. After all, there are far more, far more dangerous things in this realm than 2,000 humans. Well, this, that's just an, a ballpark answer. I believe 2,000 humans are equal to, like, one dragon. Oh yes, I see. You guys are regarded as the wisest of humans in today's age. In that case, I do hope you guys age gracefully and respectfully. After all, it is quite it is quite a good thing to be regarded as a hag. So I hope you all approach hagdom with as much enthusiasm as a witch does. Mm -hmm. Now, our next card generator, we have to see. Ooh, a ten of diamonds. Ten is the highest number we can obtain from this playing card deck without going into what is called the suits here, the jack. So the highest number of diamonds. Perhaps Tuesday, we might strike it rich. A ten of diamonds, after all. Might mean that it is a good time to look into your investments while... ...thinking about where to place your other diamonds for safekeeping. After all, we witches have many, many centuries worth of hordes that we place in various different currencies diamonds being one of them diamonds are honestly higher regarded in human terms than in witch terms because we do not see that much of a need for shiny things that are pure of light and prismatic it's a little too reflective for our taste. We prefer the darker, more opaque gemstones. They hold more power, you see. But diamonds are still valuable after all. Let us see what else we are looking at. We are looking for the D100 in 87. Now that is if that's within trend. An 87 out of 100. Now that's almost a... That's a B plus. It's barely a B plus on a test. Should you... Have scored so highly. 87 and a 10 of diamonds. Tuesday seems to be a very good day. I don't know what you guys are setting out to do, but... Perhaps it is time... To... Go for it and seize the day. Carpe diem. A four out of six? A four out of six? And let us see if we get heads or tails. Oh, tails. Hmm. 
details, in that case, perhaps it is better to put your investments on a sure thing, rather than gambling, on a 50-50 on that day. Otherwise, you might find yourself poor once again. It happens. Or perhaps it is in a metaphorical sense, you look at the tail of a problem instead of the head, you know? Many people are distracted by heads, especially creatures that have too many. Chimeras, for example. You never know which head to stare at. It's better to go for the tail and yank them around and they don't see you coming. Now the crystal ball is a little hard to read, but I see. If you have a question for that day, it is giving me a distinct no. Not, not anything in between. Not a maybe, just a no. So, perhaps this day is better for all investing in offensive and nothing defensive. You need to think about what weapons you're firing. You need to think about things that have a higher percentage of coming true. And not going for any 50-50s that day. It's not a good gotcha day. Not at all. Will I find a shortcut for a task I must finish? Hmm. That depends. I think shortcut might be referring to a different perspective. Now, if there is a weapon, for example, that only points in one direction, then go for the tail. Attack it from behind. Don't do gotcha summons, yes. Gotcha summons are, uh, never a sure thing, honestly. Unless you sacrifice many, many creatures to the void. Oftentimes, one of those creatures is your wallet, or your card limit, or your soul and chance of happiness. But sometimes, sometimes, occasionally, you are blessed. Alrighty. Wednesday. Let us look into Wednesday. The hump of the week. Always find Wednesdays to be a little dicey. It's when the luck of the week takes a turn, for better or worse. Cubic Dharma. A spell card for once. You take no da battle damage from attacks involving your cubic monsters. I see it is a bad time to be a sphere or a rectangle or 2D really. You can only use each of the following effects of cubic dharma once per turn during your main phase. You can send one cubic card from your hand to the graveyard. And if you do draw one card, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one cubic monster in your graveyard and add it to it your hand now. I'm afraid I don't know many other cubic creatures. In fact, I don't think I know many of any spherical or cylindrical nature either but uh cubic dharma let us interpret this a little bit deeper then it is not immediately apparent it asks us to dive deeper now think about when you think a cube hmm minecraft that's true minecraft when you think of minecraft you think of creation now this image here it does evoke a look of creation. And now let's see the the description here. Your cubic monsters do not in fact take battle damage. So they're immune. 
and then you can send a card from your hand to the graveyard so you do do a sacrifice or you can banish this card which is also hmm, also um, a sacrifice of some kind a little ominous perhaps but graveyards are really lovely places you should you should definitely check it out sometime now in my opinion is cubic cubic also can refer to volume can refer to many dimensions that we don't usually think of so let us interpret this wednesday as one of caution perhaps it involves sacrifice Perhaps it involves creation. Perhaps it involves graveyards, even. Maybe there are things that you need to send to the grave. Or maybe there are things that you can revive from the grave. Maybe in order to create things, you need to destroy other things. That is how many laws work. Or maybe, yes, maybe you should just go to the graveyard, have a stroll, take a parasol, bring, bring some lunch in. Now, let us see what the, the 100 has for us. 15, ah. 15, while in it of itself, not an ugly number, but... Not a very, not a very inspiring one of either out of a hundred. Fifteen. Well, perhaps it could be a lucky number for the day. Hopefully it's not a percentage on this Wednesday. Let us see. Tales again. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. This Wednesday is looking more and more risky. I'm afraid I might have to add a note of caution for the rest of you. We're planning on going out. Planning on attempting anything new. Let us give it a spin. On the roulette, see what you win. A four now. A four again. Now, I hate to say it, but you see in several different languages, four sounds the same as death, and this graveyard talk is reminding me of this fact a little too clearly. Might want to check up on anyone that is, uh, Danger. An ace of spades. I see. An ace of spades. One of the first of the deck. Now in my mind, an ace is usually a power play. Usually it starts a hand often beat a hand depending on what you're what you're playing or it's not high low but other games could be could be interpreted as kind of the trick you had up your sleeve the one winning card you were waiting for spades however spades gives me an ominous an ominous reading. I don't know. I wouldn't I would never really think of the spades as the luckiest suit to go for. Yes, well blackjack does operate with the ace of spades doing quite nicely in your hand. Hmm. This one is left up for 
interpretation then? Your Wednesday can go either way. And finally, let's give this a shake. The crystal ball says, Outlook good. I how unexpected to end this day off with Outlook good. Perhaps this is a little too early to point out, but Wednesday this week does have some things, some major things planned. I'm glad that it, uh, it does have a good implication across multiple dimensions. Mm -hmm. For those who are uh, aware, I'm looking forward to Wednesday. Perhaps you can take this as a sign. If you will. Nothing much in regards to cubes, no. Alrighty. Well, as long as you guys remember to mark down Wednesday on your calendars, we can continue on to Thursday. Thursday is... Ooh, we got our first... Creature, our monster card. It is a Tengu. Tengu are ancient monsters. The Japanese. Quite scary on the surface with their winged, uh, their, their winged combination. There's this one particularly has an Oni-like face. And it seems to have some sort of archery based magic prepared. Tengu the Winged Mayakashi. Ah, uh, now this is one of those that do not, do not translate Mayakashi for us. So I am a bit in the dark on what that might mean. But if we look closer, it's a zombie synchro in effect. Is, is it a synchro summon monster? Is, is that what this card is from? You can only control one Tengu the Winged Mayakashi. You can only use each of these effects of Tengu the Winged Mayakashi once per turn. If a synchro monster in your possession, whose original level is... Nine, I believe. This is not a very good scan. Is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect. While this card is in the graveyard, you can banish one other zombie monster from your graveyard. If you do, special summon this card. If this card is special summoned from the graveyard, you can destroy one spell or trap your opponent controls. I see. This is a very multi multifaceted card. Two very specific instances you might want to activate its effect. And the attack, a little bit meatier than the previous one, 2600. Defense, it is not so easily destroyed, 1500. I see why they have it, so that you can only have one, in effect. Now, this sounds... This sounds pretty complicated, so I would interpret this as your Thursday having two choices, two opportunities presented to you. Sometimes, both can look good. You wait for the one that springs into effect first. So you have the opportunity to summon this card, right? You hold your hand before playing it. And then you use it as wisely as possible. Hmm. 
a little bit of too much text, well, you can confuse your opponents that way. How about you confuse and confuddle your enemies, just like this Tengu does? Appearing out of nowhere, activating on some unknown conditions, and being fairly, fairly tanky and fairly destructive in power. Take inspiration from it. Be like a zombie. Rise up from the grave again. And wreak terror on those that might oppose you. Tengu the... Let's see. Tengu the Mask Maya Kashi. I am wondering if that word has any importance on the meaning. It seems that I am just getting an archetype of zombie monsters, should I look it up? So unfortunately it has a... It does not have anything that helps shed further light on the card's interpretation. Now, we roll our d100. 77! Now that's almost a jackpot! 77. Perhaps this is the night. Perhaps this is the day. You take the battle into your own hands. You turn the tides. You win the war. You rain hellfire on thine enemies. Hmm. Thursday will be a lucky day for a war. All offense. But you must play your hand wisely. Again. Reminder, there will be an opportunity, an opening, they let slip, and when you see it, choose the correct options. Now, we're going to do a little coin flip again. Heads! That's correct, heads should be rolling. Heads should be rolling on your battlefield. I do hope to hear good tidings from your battles and now we do spinner a one because there can only be one survivor is that not correct? you should be the last one standing out of six there can only be one after all There can then there cannot be others that coexist. Another ace, another another ace up your sleeve, and that of diamonds. Hmm. Now, one diamond, one winning strategy, one weapon, one hidden card up your sleeve can win the entire pot. Is that not true? Ace of diamonds. I do hope you all are taking notes. Do you have any, uh, do you have any more specific notes on strategy you need? I do have many, many years of crusades. And, uh, well, anti-witch-hunting prowess under my belt. And I do have many belts. Let's see what the crystal ball has to say. It says, for sure. Well, if that not is not the greatest declaration of victory, it is all but assured on Thursday. I think you guys have it in the bag. Thursday is your day this week. Mm -hmm. And if any one of you suffers any downsides to Thursday, well, I hate to inform you, but you must be the target of someone else's success. After all, there can only be one. So if you have a bad day on Thursday, you ran afoul 
of someone else's retribution. Do care not to uh, let them get the best of you. That would be embarrassing. Alrighty, Friday. What do you do to celebrate after a hard day's work on the battlefield? Double-headed anger knuckle. Hmm. This sounds more like a... a weapon. But apparently it is an earth-related machine. It is a link and has an effect. Now, I'm not too familiar what link means, but uh... appears to be linking to something else because the defense is not written. Another machine, yes. Two machine monsters cannot be used as link material. You can only use one of the following effects of double-headed anger knuckle per turn. And only once that turn. Again, we have dual effects to choose from. During the main phase, which is a quick effect, you can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard, then target one level. Um, 10 machine monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position and negate its effects. I see. So, if you so choose to sacrifice a monster, you can then target a level 10 monster that was already in your graveyard and special summon it for free. However, it does not have any effects. So it is essentially a very large meat shield can save you, in case your life points are being threatened, I suppose. It's still sacrificing something. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Special summon this card, I see. So even though this card is in your graveyard, you can still sacrifice something else and bring this back. A lot of these cards are quite persistent. They seem that they almost wish for death and to be revived. I'm wondering what this means. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps. Now, there was a lot of graveyard talk earlier this week, and we just came flush from the victory of Thursday. I wonder if this bodes well for you or the opponent you just buried. I wonder if this means your opponent or some other grievance comes out of the dirt. Hard to say. Quite a name, though. It's true, it does look a little bit like a train. A very uncouth train, however. I've never seen trains with a... hands. Or should I say knuckles? I'm not sure those can grasp much. Alrighty, out of 100, and it is a solid 80. A solid B minus tier. Well... I suppose we have no uh, cause for complaints with an 80. That is passing. That is a passing grade. Might lower your grade if you were aiming for straight A's, but will definitely help raise your C's. Solidly average. We can only strive for excellence every other day after all. We can do the spinner first if we must. Three. Three out of six. Once again, solidly average. Three gets you on the podium. Three gives you a trophy. Three gives you just enough credit for having been there and making it worth it. For showing up. Hmm. Very average day. Alrighty. And we flip. Tails. Hmm. Tails. Well, I suppose.
suppose we can't ask for too many miracles. Don't want to uh, get greedy there. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves. You know, don't let your hubris bring you too close to the sun after having such a good Thursday. Now the random card might shed a little bit more light. A jack of spades. Hmm, for jack. You know, in my opinion, the jack of spades is very similar to getting three, getting third on a podium. Now the jack does not have the responsibilities nor the power of a king, but he also doesn't have the pressure of the queen. Yet he is still a jack, he is still an advisor, he has a role, he is somewhat of a messenger, he can only give his best input, show up to the job at the end of the day and uh, hope he doesn't get blamed for anything because he does not make the final decision. I don't think he's the, quite the, je the jester, the jester is the joker and I don't think this... I don't think the Joker is in this card deck, unfortunately. Oh, hello! Welcome, welcome. We have a new group, I see. Come from a different dimension, perhaps? Or are you all human as well? Welcome, welcome. It is not every day that a dark mage such as myself deigns show you guys some favor and gives you a peek in the arcane rituals of fortune telling i hope you all are honored i hope you all have a lovely day well you will have a lovely day if you follow my guidance of course but i do hope you guys all had a great time underwater i have never seen humans dawn Tail fins, is it? To clear dungeons, but uh... Perhaps there was some mermaid blood in that boy, who knows? I am... A renown... One and only... Centuries old... Dark arts practicing... Dark witch... Today... Mhm, mm mhm... Mm today we are using... Very studied, very traditional, very cutting edge at the same time technology to predict the future of this week such as these cards of the Yu-Gi-Oh these cards of playing these coin flips and this D100 and I am in fact about to wrap up the Friday with a very nice shake of my crystal ball. My crystal ball says that Friday is going to be... Hmm. Friday is going to be... Not like... Mm. Well, we can't win them all, I suppose. So... Just to give a little bit of a summary for people who didn't see it on Monday. You're going to have a trap card that, that is today. So I don't know if this was accurate or not. But you might have rebounded on some bad habits. Some people. some, Or had some perhaps like a trap you set sprung back on you. In your face. You only rolled a 7 out of 100. Quite unfortunate. Because you have a 7 day. Please rate your day. I do want to know if the scientific method is paying off. We got heads. So, if you uh, sent any heads rolling or if your head is on the chopping block, do take care. We have a 5 out of 6, so a little low on the podium. Out of 6 people. 8 of hearts. Now, 8 of hearts can be hard to harvest. I recommend ice, and I do recommend a good bag to hold all the still pumping lifeblood if you're looking for eight hearts today. For a particularly special spell, 
I do recommend smaller hearts for transportation. Perhaps like lizard hearts. Because lizard tails and lizard eyes are also very useful. Mm, waste not, want not, and an ask again sort of day. On Tuesday, tomorrow, the Dimension Fortress weapon. Perhaps your dimension needs a little bit more protecting, but it has very little defense, unfortunately. You do get us 87 out of 100, so... Not bad, not bad. 87 is actually the highest we've rolled for this one of diamonds. Now 10 diamonds. It's quite valuable. Diamonds, after all, are rare and sought after in your culture. So perhaps look into your investments, perhaps... Go for the sure thing, don't go for any gambles. And there's just a hard no on the result of any questions you have, so, uh... Don't go, don't go asking any questions, you don't want a hard no to. On Wednesday, we had a quite a confusing meeting. Oh! In fact, I'm not, I'm still not quite sure what cubic dharma means. So perhaps we need to look at things in a different dimension. Perhaps we need to create things and in order to create things, we need to destroy them first. Or perhaps you should just open Minecraft, I don't know. What do cubes mean to you? 15 out of 100 again. If 15 is a nice number to you, that's great. 15 is a little low out of 100, however. Tails. Again, not a very good day to risk 50-50s. 4 out of 6 again. 4 just... 4 just reminds me of... The word death. Kind of unlucky. Something you might want to avoid. Ace of spades, however. Ace of spades. Either a card that could spell the beginning of something. Or some hidden potential, perhaps. Because it does end on an outlook good. It does end on it saying that you have a shot. You have a chance. Now, Thursday is our luckiest day by far. We got... Tengu the Masked Mayakoshi, who is a card with quite a lot of attack and quite a lot of defense. So, no worries on either front. It gives you two different spell effects to trigger. So, it is telling you that there might be some opportunity, some twist of fate that is calling out for you, giving you a choice. Make the smart choice. Choose the correct option before you. You will get a 77 out of 100. A solid footing to get started. Heads as well. Heads will be rolling on the battlefield once you take it to war. One out of six because there can only be one of you. Is that not correct? Only one of you may remain. The others, you'll have to send them to their early grave. Ace of Diamonds. Again, the most valuable ace that you have hidden. You only need one diamond, one powerful artifact to turn the tide, and a for sure, a definitive answer. Now, Picture in your mind's eye your greatest enemy. No, I suppose this does not need to be a physical enemy. It can be a metaphys metaphysical enemy, correct? Now, envision your battle plans. Hear the war cries rallying you to battle. Pick up your weapon and your shield. Prepare your spell cast. And go forth and conquer. And I do not want to see you guys returning here until you are victorious. And again, if you encounter bad luck on that day, you might have rubbed someone else luckier than you the wrong way. Perhaps you were their enemy. And Friday, we just went over. It is an average day. You know, you get a B minus. You get a 3 out of 6. If you're the Jack, you're not 
exceptionally high, but you're still of importance. You still have a role to play. You'll have some responsibility. So, perhaps sit back and sort of survey the consequences of your Thursday. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. We do have two more days to go. Saturday. Looking forward to this one. Ooh, we finally got a dragon. Is it Hieratic Dragon of Esset? A light element. Dragon effect. You can normal summon this card without tributing, but its original attack becomes 1000. I see. If you do not tribute, then you lose the extra 900 attack. Once per turn, you can target one face-up dragon, normal monster, on the field. The levels of all the face-up hieratic monsters currently on the field become the level of that monster until the end phase. When this monster, when this card is tributed, special summon one dragon normal monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard, but make its attack and defense zero. I see. So if you feel like tributing it, you do get another dragon monster and you're going to have to uh quickly match its level because it is attack defense zero very interesting i have not seen that many purple monsters with such fluorescent pulsating jelly-like skin color interesting um and it is armored well I do not see the point in the gaps of those armor. For example, there is this specific slice on that tail you can you can just attack as its weak point and it just chops the rest of the tail off. The wings appear to be more illusory than physical. It's glowing light lasers coming out of it. Well, it is still a dragon. It's a legendary beast. It's a modern dragon, so maybe more of the human imagination. Hieratic dragon of. Is it. Esset, not East. hard to say what this dragon means. It looks like it means business for sure. It looks like speed is of the essence if you feel like uh, being used as a tribute. It looks like perhaps you need to use this card to uh, call forth reinforcements. Look to other hieratic monsters on the field match the level of some other monster so perhaps there are multiple meanings at play one of them being that you want to match the level of something whether in a friendly way for example challenging yourself to do more for example it could also be leveling up some of your skills to match those of your peers or it could be that it is calling for you to really f fight an uh, a rival perhaps and it is also saying you can special summon other dragons so perhaps calling friends now there is no uh no weakness in relying on others so long as you don't put all your eggs in that basket. I mean, Easter already passed. I hope your eggs are already out of the basket, but I digress. If you rely on others, make sure that you have something they're relying on you for. So both ends of the deal get held up. Now, to roll this, 
68. Oh, we were so close to greatness. Well, that might be... That might actually be what it's saying. Perhaps you get very, very close and yet let it slip away. Just one step further. Could have been perfect, huh? A little bit of a disappointment, but... But it does mean... The end is in sight, at least. You see the goal? You know the goal? The goal is almost within your grasp. It's a little bit more effort. The coin flip. Tails again. Well, I did see that tail in the uh, dragon image, so... I can't say I'm too surprised. Perhaps you should attack the tail. Perhaps it's its weakness. Four out of six again. Uh, unlucky number. Such a boring number. We haven't even gotten a two or a six out of six yet. Dare I say, almost rigged. Random card generation says... Nine of clubs. Hmm. Nine of them. Now, clubs... Clubs make me think of... Luckier things. Clubs make me think... Of a field... That you can pluck... Easily. Four leaf clovers... Can be used for spells after all. Nine of them does give you a good chance for one of them to actually be a four, please. Nine clubs on Saturday night, hmm. That is quite a lot of clubs. Or perhaps this is the nine we were looking for from earlier when you got an eight. Hmm. Hmm. If you go to nine clubs, you're unfortunately still not going to improve the 68. And you're probably still going to lose with the tails. So I don't think I can quite encourage it, but um... It's not saying that something bad will happen, it's just saying something great might not happen... Uh, ...either. And finally... A good shake gives me... Hmm... It is upside down, so it is a little hard to read. Let me shine a light on it. That is the thing with the dark arts. They do shroud themselves in mystery. Well, it is giving me a most likely. Mayhaps something good is most likely going to happen, but not guaranteed to happen. There's still there's still a little bit of wiggle room for doubt, you know? I say, overall, not a terrible Saturday. And finally, we do have hope for the week to end well on a Sunday. Hmm. Hmm. Who does this lady remind you of? Okay, G.B. Hunter. What does that... what does that stand for? Very, very interesting... ...look she has there. Very interesting genre of game. She's got some sort of... ...laser blade coming out of her, uh, ...her wrist there. Hmm. Has there been any... Strange or threatening announcements today for later this week. Hmm. The effect seems the cards on the field cannot be returned to the deck. Her attack is 1200. That is okay. Defense, however, pretty tanky actually. Can't get through her defense is 2000. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. Much to think about. Well, you guys can come up with your own interpretations there. I believe this card has a 
a lot to say for itself without even needing so much text. Mm -hmm. That's true, four stars. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Ling D Hun 100. Nine. Hmm. What does this nine mean? What does what does this nine hold significance for? We're getting a lot of nines in our readings this week. I wonder if this nine will be a recurring lucky or unlucky number. Hmm. Not very high, but very specific. We finally got it. We finally got a six out of six. Now, at this rate, I cannot really tell if being six out of six is very good or very bad. Sometimes, sometimes you throw on purpose. Sometimes you, uh, well, sometimes that was what you were aiming for in the end. After all, six out of six, sometimes it's harder to get that than getting middle of the pack. Going flip. Heads. Hmm. I am seeing that the Sunday is coming very unpredictable. Now, I don't know if, uh... I don't know about you, but we are getting a lot of sixes and nines, and that's like a reflection of itself, you know? An opposite, so to speak. Curious, very curious on this day. Random card, what have you to say? Seven of spades. Hmm. Seven. Now, seven can be seen as a lucky card. Lucky number. Spades, however, does give me a slightly threatening aura. Perhaps it's because it is a heart, but very pointy. Kind of like there is a knife or dagger struck through the heart. And a seven at that. Isn't it quite pointy? But seven is a bit lucky, so. Oh, sorry, I wrote hearts instead of spades. Perhaps it is lucky for you and unlucky for your enemies? As long as you're the one holding the knife, am I correct? Maybe arm yourself. A hunter, after all, was armed. You can be armed too. Never too many uh, hidden weapons on one's person, I like to say. And finally... One last shake. Let's see if we get a new answer. Ah. Very, very curious. We got yet another. Or, sure. Now what is for sure? No one knows. So if no one knows what is for sure, is it really for sure? Hmm. Much to think about. Well, there you have it. The week of April 1st to April 7th. Within your realm, your dimension, and all the other dimensions that this pertains to has been complete. I hope this gives you a little bit of encouragement to face the trying times ahead of you. We can never avoid all of the trying times after all. But I also hope that uh, 
you use this advice wisely, plan ahead. Keep some spare daggers on you. Look out for stray dragons or other traps. Think about your enemies. Always plan a step ahead of them. Don't let them get the best of you. There is hope. There is some hope. And if this week does not turn out the proper way that this reading has very scientifically proven, well, there's always a little bit of wiggle room for error. As I've said, sometimes people don't follow their life's handbook. They're a little bit of a rebel. They defy fate and tread at the edges. And when you do so, you do run the risk of walking several different possibilities at the same time. You know, not letting it play out and walking into a different timeline. Mm. Curious how that happens, but uh, not unheard of. You know, I myself do love dabbling when it is safe to do so. I do love learning what I can from beings from multi-dimensions. After all, you group have been very lovely, curious specimens. Has there any last-minute requests that I might fulfill? That's correct. Stay safe out there. Can I free the sassy witch? Hmm. If we have... If we have enough, uh... Requests for that, I may consider it before I leave. As a parting gift, so to speak. It is but a trivial... Task for someone such as I. The new month does bring many different star alignments, many different people and paths we cross. The threads of fate are always unraveling at their own pace. There's always a bit of a reset. A gracious gesture of mercy. Well, she is a bit of an oddball, but not a... Uh, not offensive, at least. Hmm. I'm too nice. I've never heard of that compliment before. I'm not sure if that is encouraging or not. Should I be more threatening? Hmm. I... I do not wish to dirty my heels with the heads of humans. Who knows when is the last time you guys have washed your scalps, done a good cleanse of the dandruff and lice that surely infects your creatures. Hmm. Well, I perhaps I could. Only if I meant to throw out these shoes anyway. I bet I could, uh... Find some nicer heels... For the opportunity. Your hair smells like oranges. Well, doesn't that just make you attractive to wildebeests? I have never heard of citrus-smelling humans before. But, uh... So long as, so long as you don't mind being easy prey, that is not my concern. I do indeed have nice sharp heels to dig into mine enemies. It's good to have a, a emergency weapon as well. You know, I can just simply kick out without even dirtying my hands drop blood that way. Very simple task. Can we do some math? I'm afraid, uh, 
which math is a little advanced for what you call arithmetic. You've already discovered beyond imaginary numbers. Like, why are your numbers imaginary? I say humans lack imagination. If those numbers are imaginary. What are the green hat's three sizes? Well, the green hat is choosing to be hat-shaped at the moment, so... I'm afraid I can't say definitively what size it is. It is ever-changing. Division, well... Division happens when... One of you guys... Starts acting like... A whole gang of mm, little mice or little chirping birds. Hmm. Tips for Wednesday. Let's see. Well, I did. I did give a very confusing reading for Wednesday. Perhaps we can think of one more. Enlightening. Alrighty, one more for Wednesday. Well, that is a very uneventful spell. Create food and water. I believe you must create food and water every day in order to survive. Is that not how humans exist? Let us, uh, let us perhaps do one more. It's a little disappointing. I will... I will check this thing. I should never trust the spells of non-wizards, after all. Project image? Hmm. Now that is... quite a good one. Now, the question is, do you project an image so that you hide your true intentions? Do you project an image to distract others from the truth? Do you project an image to even so much as entertain yourself? Could be quite literal after all. Hmm. Well, I hope that one is slightly more enlightening, but you should project an image if you need to. I personally like projecting an image that gives credence to, a, you know, my stature and my ability. Don't want people to underestimate me after all. I don't want to pick fights that drain me of my patience, even if they are trivial to win. Hmm. We take turns, I see. Well, if there aren't any other, uh, if there aren't any other requests and questions, I suppose I can do one final freeing ritual. If you so desire this dimension to be righted. It is a little boorish, but is not beneath me, I suppose. You have entertained me for two hours, so that is what that is the life span of a couple bacteria. And in my eyes, two hours is much closer to your lifespan than your lifespan is to mine. And at the very least, I do like you guys a little bit more than bacteria. Hmm, when will I ever appear again? Well, I do have to say the stars align and the dimensions drift in whichever way they will. And I simply follow my whims. So, there can never be guarantees. It can be a year, it can be ten years, it could be one second. 
can be however you choose to believe. That's the funny thing with memories, though. Those last, so long as you don't fall under an amnesia spell or hit your head too hard. Hmm. That's true, I do have to uh, make my League of the Legends important gathering later. I can't miss that as much as I do. Feel, uh, our conversation is quite scintillating. It is nothing, unfortunately, in comparison to interacting with others of similar... Similar... Oh, not to be too, uh, condescending to you guys, but surely you understand your power levels are vastly outmatched. Now, if that is full, I will have to take my leave. But until next time, until next time, I bid you all adieu. Mm -hmm. See you later then. I do love reveling in the begs and cries of humans, but, uh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I do have much more important engagements later this evening, but goodbye. Majoko Mimi! that my stream was ending. I didn't even start stream yet. Huh? Guys? Huh? Freedom? I wasn't trapped or anything. Where did you guys go? Did you guys, like, go into a different stream or something? Why does it say you guys have been here for, like, two hours? Did you guys not know that my stream was gonna start at, like, two hours later today? Huh? Hmm... Well, maybe we'll wait more! I hope you guys had a good April Fool's Day today! I am Production Koi of Amira's Little Fortune Telling Witch! Magical Mimi! Welcome to my Mimi Movie Mo Show! Today! Where I am... I'm just doing unplanned Zatsu! Mm -hmm. Hello! Hmm... You guys don't seem very happy to see me. Uh, what? What? Aren't you guys happy for me to stream? Huh? Oh, you don't want me here? Huh... Curious? I see. Maybe <laughs> Oh yeah, I have to... Um, hang on, I wanna read out... Some messages I had earlier. Um, <laughs> I did see. I did see. It was a ghost of Mint <laughs> ex Pomu. <laughs> um, had an offline dono earlier. Offline super chat. Um, talking about talking about like, Wotakoi, right? Right. Um, I I I speaking of speaking of Wotakoi. <laughs> Even though I was supposed to be a good little worker, I, um, yeah, I stayed up last night playing games. So, so I may be more on, uh, maybe living my best Wotokoi life sans the guy. Instead of the guy, I have Kohaku and Hiyori. <laughs> well, honestly, maybe, maybe better in that case. I have Kohaku and Hiyori. 
carrying me? Question mark? Carrying me? I don't know if they, it counts as carrying if we didn't win um, in League last night. It was literally so late. It was so late that we played. So thank you for the... Thank you for the dono. Also, um, Con Steve, thank you. Thank you for the two donos earlier. But, um, please never leave again. I missed you. Your sassy gremlin noises. What? Chris Anilfax and, of course, Hattie. Wow. <laughs> I'll have you know, my my hat does not make noises. You could have just had hat stream today. What about that, huh? <laughs> I, I was not cracked. I, I only... I lucked out in getting, like, to play Ziggs, so... We did play... Let's see, we played Aram. And we, like, lost. <laughs> not our fault. It's, it's literally, like, our Aram team is, like, whatever, Unga Bunga, and they're... Aram team, the enemy Aram team is always like has a perfect comp of like every annoying poke champ, every like engage champ. Like, okay, they have a Leona and then they have like another tank and then they have like a LeBlanc that is like super protected or something like that. And then what do we have? We have like whatever whatever we rerolled. <laughs> whatever we we vaguely know how to play. I, I'm horrible at AD and I got like Sivir and um, I did like no damage. I'm sorry my, that my team does my bad <laughs> Learning how to play on the on the fly um And then let's see Heal played. I don't know if they already talked about which ones which champions they played. Heal was like forced to play Champions that she barely knew or did not really like every time <laughs> It was unfortunate. Koha was trying her best to to uh, carry. She got like um, what's like the squelchy one? The the the, the blows up squelchy. Kogma, Kogma for one of them, <laughs> for example. I did so much damage. She did so much damage, but we just did not have like, we did not have a Randall that stuck with us for one. Like the Randall always went in by themselves. Never like helped us peel. Never helped keep. Like, our actual damage dealer is safe. They just ran in. We did have a Warwick, actually. He was doing his best, I guess, but then died. Oh, yeah. Wait, my BGM is off. You're right. <laughs> actually... Oh, I don't have... I don't have BGM in this scene. That's why. That's my bad. I'm just gonna, like, play something. <laughs> in the meantime. Mm. And, um... Heal, Heal was, like... Doing fine, though. For for having to play, like, champions she absolutely did not like. It was fine. We would be able to play against chat, though. We would. We absolutely would. But you guys can't stream snipe us. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Can I trust you guys to not stream snipe us? Granted, there is, like, delay and all. There, there would be, like, de delay. Whatever. Um, but like, still, I don't know. I feel like I would just get bullied. I feel like you guys are just bullying me, no? <laughs> uh, Aram, oh yeah, we could 100%, right? Right, right? If we stream site heals the wallet, we'd be safe for one week. Why? <laughs> what do you mean? I had to queue up in the same game, it's not my fault. <laughs> Hey, there was like no players last night too. Granted, we were playing at like 3 a.m. So that's our bad. Um, there was like the same people in ARAMs. <laughs> and then um What else? We played we played um We played the the new mode, the all for one, right? So that was like the picture I shared. You know, I shared a lot of pictures about context. So the all for one mode was um the two randos. Wanted to play Mordekaiser, and we were like, "Oh no, we are we are playing E girls. We are voting Lux." So all three of us voted Lux and outvoted them. So the two people who wanted to play Mord were forced to play Lux with us. <laughs> Honestly, we were doing so well. We could have won that if they learned to be better E girls. That's what I'm saying. Like, Koha was like molding. <laughs> We, Kyo was like, let's go! Because Koha and I started molding. <laughs> we were like, oh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a curse. <laughs> and we say our first curses. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, but we had like... 
We, we, um, we were like doing so well, especially because the enemy team chose Smolder. And Smolder is like super baby in the beginning, right? Like, we were hard, hard bullying them in every lane because we were Lux. And we were just like, if we just like end it early, then they can never scale and they won't win. But like, dude, all we had to do was roll down mid and go and attack the base. And then like every other person just wouldn't group with us. And then I was at this point where like, if we caught even one of them, if we caught even one of them with a root, then we could, all three of us like would just R and we would snipe that enemy smolder out of existence. <laughs> they were building tankier, but even so, like one root, like it's, it's, it's much over, right? Like all of us would just keep rooting them and keep Ring, and it was so, so funny. So it was a really fun game despite the fact that we lost. Um, okay, we lost on randos though because it was not our fault. We tried to end multiple times and they just just not go to the fountain with us. Hello? Like, why are you split pushing as Lux? Why are you getting dragon objectives? L literally, do you want this game to drag on? Just end it with us. <laughs> we could have won. And then it got to the point where like the enemy smolders just are and their R range is massive, right? So they would just R at all of us and we would die. So, uh, yeah. Bad end. <laughs> Bad end. <laughs> the lasers was hilarious. And like, because our spell haste was like so short, you know, like we could R all the time. <laughs> I know, why are they playing logs like board? Don't go by yourself. You'll lose. But like, it was, it was the point where like we could just follow one of them and beat them up. Like any of them that were caught off guard instantly deleted off the face of the map. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like... I feel like us three, we're like... <laughs> we're like the closest in Ephemera right now because we're the most like... Unga bunga brains off. Like, we want to play games right now and we get FOMO so we need to like play now kind of deal and like... <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna ask them. <laughs> but, um... Don't be hating on my AD Lux. There's... I mean, you could do whatever you want. It was just all all for one. And then... Yeah, it was it was NA. It was NA. We made, we made um, new accounts because... Like, we realized we had to, like, level up and stuff. Um... And, like... Yo, it was so painful! Because I saw in my, in my... I think it was, like, half bots, half not bots. Because some some of the enemies, at the very least, played like bots. I don't think they're real people. I swear they're not real people. <laughs> but one of the people on our team was real because they pinged stuff for us. Um, so we played after the day changed over. So it was the April Fool's event, right? Um, and that's why we were like so excited because they, they have a train in the game. You could take the train. And we have like that choo-choo train picture. And then like... Um, and then we... What else was there? There was like the... There was pets! There was a bunch of little pets, like the jungle pets. And so like, it was like a brand jungle and he went around and he like... Just jungled by himself for a very long time. And got a billion pets. And then like, you can take ownership of those pets. They're like the TFT pets, right? You can take ownership if you beat... If you like, beat the person. So he died to like, the enemy. And then like, um... One of us killed that enemy and we got all the pets and we each took a turn. We got all the like those little cute like TFT pets running after us. And that's what Hio's tweet meant when she was like, I had ownership of the kids then. <laughs> we kept yelling about it because like I had ownership and then like I died. Um, so the enemy Lux had it, which I swear the enemy Lux was like a bot. But then like we were screaming, we we're like, no, she took ownership of the kids. Get her, it's on site. And so like, <laughs> and Hio and Koha managed to get them back. So we all took a turn with like a bunch of cute little pets rolling after us. And then, um, and then what else was there? There was like, um, the, the scuttle hats. So there were scuttle hats, right? I don't know where they came from. I don't know how you got them. I think if you beat the scuttle crab, you get a little hat and you can like, 
pick it up and put it on and so like the brand pinged it for us and was like there's these two hats right here and like we got them and we were so excited and that was like the picture that i took um i was like oh my god oh my god heel come here we have hats me and koha were just like in the middle of lanes like taking pictures and she was like ah, ah help me help me help me i'm like oh heel just come over here it's fine perfect we're taking pictures i'm done and I'm like, you're fine, you're fine. And then you just see our ally Timo die off screen. And she like comes over and I take that screenshot. <laughs> we couldn't find her a hat, sadly. And also if you died, you lost your hat, sadly, too. <laughs> okay, listen, they were like... They were still like slightly... They were actually playing the game and also because we were trolling. We were like just going into their fountain at that point, right? <laughs> So like I died when like oh I didn't know you could like ride the ride the what's his name Rifty right you could ride him and I smashed him all the way into the fountain and then I was like oh dear <laughs> I'm stuck here so that's when I died yeah her her panic is always like that ah, ah, help ah, help <laughs> an ally has been slain but we looking cute though this ain't about him. <laughs> Yeah, Rifty. Um, so anyway, it was fun. We, we we won that one, I guess. But like, it was really sad because uh, I lost, I lost the game like to uh, I think we played like an Aram and it was a Zway, right? And I don't really know Zway, but I just saw it coming at me. I just saw the ability coming at me, and I didn't have Flash yet. You know, I I have Ghost and I have Heal. I'm a level one account. And I could not get out of the way. I just saw myself die in slow motion. <laughs> Ripperino. <laughs> and then, um, 3v3 Aram. <laughs> I guess we could. Oh, Hui. Yeah, Hui. Mm. I don't know. I don't know his abilities yet. He's too new for me to know. And then, um, let's see, what else is there? It was funny because, like, all three of us did more damage than the other two people in our ARAM when we lost, so we're just like, shrug. <laughs> Although I was cheating, I was playing Karthus, I just had to press R even if I didn't do too well. Yeah, we did... <laughs> it is leak chat because that's what we did last night! We were joking about, like, I can't believe... This is the true April Fools. Instead of doing anything else productive together, we're just like up playing League, and we're like we need to we need to play more because the tutorial took so long. Okay, we thought we could just make a new account and like play together and get Flash, whatever level high, level level like seven for Flash or something, level eight. I don't remember, but like the tutorial took so long, the Force tutorial, and it doesn't actually tell you that much about how to play the game. So I'm a level 4 account right now. <laughs> Majoko Mimi. You have to... In order to find this, you have to find the... What is it called? You know like the hashtag thing? So we all have like different hashtags. Otherwise you can't find our account. But we're probably only going to do like... I don't know. We'll probably choose which... Which like... Mm, formats we want to play with like viewers. Otherwise we'll, we'll also just troll around together probably. <laughs> it was funny because like in the um in the in the like bot games it was just like Koha Penta Kill <laughs> At first we were like oh this sounds like a normal game except for some reason they don't have see like this is the biggest tell right they didn't have a jungle and their second their like second person that could have been like support went into mid so there was two mid. So like, that's like bot behavior, you know? Unless they were really new. I guess like a really new player who does not understand the concept of lanes would do that. But like, two mid and one bot. And it's a Lux by herself without, like no one got support items. So I was just like, hmm, I think this is a bot game, guys. <laughs> I don't know if there was any bots on the enemy team. I mean, any real people on the enemy team? I feel like our team might have been a bot. I don't know. They just put a lot of mushrooms everywhere. Like, and weren't really with the team. The brand was real. That's the only thing I can attest. The brand was real. 
You un you unlock Smite at level seven? Oh god. <laughs> also a problem. None of us want to jungle. Blech. <laughs> I don't understand jungle. You need to you need to know too much about enemy champions the jungle. You know, you need to know every other jungle path so you can like guesstimate where where the enemy is and like when to gank and what's safe and whatnot. I I never know. Do I love or hate Teemo? I don't really care. I guess I kind of hate fighting Teemo. Where's one of the senpais or gem maids? Jungle? I don't think anyone jungle. We can make... Like... We can make heal jungle. She just won't enjoy it, you know? <laughs> None of us will just... We'll, we won't do it well. It, it's... Yeah, it's like... It's own other game. It's worse than top. Top is like at least you're in an island by yourself, but you know the rules. Like there's a there is a 1v1 situation and occasionally you get ganked. But like jungle is is all out war. <laughs> Guerrilla tactics. Um and then what else happened? It's like uh I don't know, we just took a lot of screenshots for those funny moments. We were laughing a lot. <laughs> we were having so much fun. <laughs> and then that's why um all of our all of our schedules were delayed. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Koha Koha's crazy though. Koha is like, yeah, I um there's like people who play a lot of league and they just update me on the patch notes each time so I know what's up. And we're like, oh. Cause there's no way I would ever like there's no way I would ever be able to keep up with any of this. <laughs> a Darius Garen bot and they wanted to cook, but then they failed. Uh, the problem with that sort of thing is like... You get bullied by a lot of the poke champs bot, don't you? It gets pretty annoying later on, though. Rumble? Cute. Rumble's really hard to play, though. <laughs> Koha's only 100 or so levels behind me? What? You're higher level than Koha? What? Really? Koha's... Koha's account... Was like the highest level account I've ever seen. Oh my god. Wait, but you're level 920 but you're only gold? Anyway... <laughs> um... <laughs> Listen, Koha was diamond, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's okay, we're all, we're all a little washed up, it's fine. <laughs> it's about having fun, right? It's about having fun. Um, that's why we play Aram. We're having fun. I was saying I really want us to play Clash Aram next time. Or, or some kind of like Clash. It would be really funny though, because all of us have like new accounts. So we have no history. I don't know. I don't know if, if that will like work out well in the matchmaking or give us like other smurfs. I, I truly do not want to fight other smurfs. <laughs> yeah, well, today's a rebound day. So uh, that already happened. Um, I, I kind of rebounded to League after we didn't play for like a month. We played for three hours straight. We're crazy. We're crazy. <gasps> uh. Meow. Meet Smurf T1. <laughs> uh. At, at that point, at that point, like I feel like they could play one match and their M their like MMR would just jettison them out of it. I've hit Grandmaster on Wild Rift. Oh, that's what Lethe says. Lethe says she's only played Wild Rift because she doesn't like clicking all the time to walk places. <laughs> so she's never played. She was there briefly. We um briefly like streamed the game to her, but then she went off to eat. Mm hmm. It was funny. You and Kyo drooling to get on Koha Nene's local lab. <laughs> Playing with Nene? Oh, I'm so Scared to show my bad side to senpai though. <laughs> you know, I am going to curse. I, I, yesterday, like last night, I was literally like, I was literally like, I'm gonna curse. I was like, you know what? 
And then I was like, F this! <laughs> F you! <laughs> Rawr. There's PvE on Waldrift? Really? What? Hi, hi! Thanks for stopping by, by the way. Yeah, Mimi Curses. Only found in League. And then Hyo was like... Um, asking me and Koha, right? Oh, do you guys normally curse? And we're like... Not really. Just in League. <laughs> Just in League, really. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, but it's so funny. Because... You'll hear our normal voices, and then I'll just be like... God dang it, right? Like... <laughs> if I really get into moldy mode, I can go off. But um, if I'm playing with friends, I don't really mold that badly. I only mold a lot if like... I get bullied. If I get hard bullied, it is what it is. If I'm like mid, and they gank me five times, and I'm just like... Why did you do that? This stupid said. <laughs> this is why I banned Yasuo! <laughs> <sighs> I haven't even unleashed my full molding yet. <laughs> it's funny. Um, <laughs> we will have some surprises for you on that regard if you guys want to see us, you know, be toxic on main. We well, we can be toxic on main. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it's a thing. Ban Pike? Oh my god. There's too many for me to bank. I ban... I ban Yasuo every time. And then... After... Well, if I'm playing... If I'm playing support, then I will ban... Ban Pike or Blitzcrank. I can't stand... I can't stand the jump scare. I get jump scared every single time. Ugh. Actually, there was a Pike on the enemy team when we lost an Aram. That makes me more mad. It makes me more mad that it was Pike. There was only one moment where I, I flashed out of his ult and he didn't get the reset anymore because he missed me. And I was like, Screw you! You deserve that! Rawr! <laughs> but every other moment was just like, Yeah, you can just ult all of us on where are we gonna be? We're gonna we're on this like tiny little lane and Aram! Rawr! And just like hiding in the bushes. I hate him. I hate him. Just eat the ult. I was not Sivir then, I though. I was, um... I'm pretty sure I was Ziggs. <laughs> I love being Ziggs. I do so much damage in, um, Aram. But I, I'm a squishy little squish and I can't finish anyone off. <laughs> I just do the... I like doing poke damage. The type of members content. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a member stream. I was gonna do it on Sunday. Um, hopefully... I don't know. A lot of people were like... Going to sleep at the end of my Sunday stream, so I'm like a little concerned. Like, is that not a good time period for you guys? <laughs> I even try to choose like a semi earlier time, but um, we'll do our first member stream and then we can discuss things that members want to play and you know whatnot. I can't, I can't just play. I can, I cannot sadly just play <laughs> Monster Hunter <laughs> yet, just yet. So. We can... We can do our gathering. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Make me consider Wednesday stream. What? <laughs> what? I, have, I do have six energy. Like, hee hee hee. Bombs. Bombs away. That energy? Compare all of Kawaii to... League champs? League champs? Oh... Uh... Um, I would only, I could only choose like cute girls for all of them though, right? Kyo actually plays Ari. I don't know. I, you guys keep saying Warwick. She, she's an Ari player, obviously. Um, Koha, Koha plays a good selection of different things actually. Is there anything that's like sleepy? Um, Lilia puts them to sleep. Does that count? <laughs> Does that count? I'm obvious. No, my Viger. Uh, okay, I can be Viger, but I was saying there's literally Morgana. Morgana. I was playing Morgana. I love Morgana. I'm not very good at like high end Morgana though. I feel like to be a good Morgana, you need to have the like audacity to flash in R everybody and then like stopwatch yourself, you know. And I I can never do that. I was 
I'm a little baby. I always cue them first, are them a little bit, make sure they don't get away, and then I try not to die, but I die very quickly. Um. Oh yeah, Zoe's asleep. Zoe does sleep. Zoe's like a bit. Koha, it's like because Koha is shy to other people, so she has a little Lilia energy to new people, but um, and, but she has like the gremlin-y energy to. To people she knows or is more comfortable about. Syndra made me. Oh, Syndra's also cool. But Syndra's a little too like, I'm too cool for you. I'm too like, I'm I'm just like so over this kind of energy. <laughs> yeah, bewitching work on. Mm -hmm. I need more. I need more essence in my new account. I just bought a bunch of like cheaper champs. I can't play some of the more expensive ones. I really want to play Zyra. I love playing Zyra support, but um, I, she's too expensive, sadly. Zeri? Oh, maybe. Zip zap, zip zap zap. Yeah, but actually, I think Nano's a Yumi, <laughs> which is coincidentally the only like champion she knows how to play. Smile. <laughs> That's what she said. Nano's like, I only know how to play Yumi. Smile. Yeah. <laughs> um. Friend you and give me give give me skins. Don't do that. Save your money. <laughs> do I really need skins for this account? I have most of my skins on my other account. I just can't use it. Uh, oh, it's true. Sinja does have majors. You're so right. I need to get better at Sinja then. Karma? I'm not very good at karma though. But karma does also sound right. Um, Seraphine for Inano? That works too. That could work. Um, let's see. Who would Tomoe be? Tomoe would be like someone kind of cool. Some kind of cool, right? Someone kind of cool but still cute, you know? Actually, hang on. Let me look this up. League champions. <laughs> I'm gonna look them all up. League champions. There's like a bunch of new ones too. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, okay. I'll check out my tag later. Tomoe's Olaf. Stop bringing up the Olaf, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sniper lady, Caitlyn? Caitlyn, really? Caitlyn's kind of like... Cool, but Caitlyn's like a little bit... Mm, I mean, I guess I guess she's a little bit lawful good. Maybe. Let me see what else there is. There's... Ooh. Don't you think like... Yandere looking Lefe would be like Evelyn or Elise? But like normal her is normal her is like not <laughs> normal her is not that that uh femme fatale so to speak. Let's see what other e girls are there. No one no one's weird enough to be some of these though. Maybe Kaisa? Do you think Tomoe could be Kaisa? Because she's like the daughter of the void, but she's she herself is not evil, you know? I don't know. It might work. Yeah, Lethe's not a spider or a succubus. I was just thinking like assassin. Because she has the assassin theming going on. I cannot play a lot of these, by the way. I, I'm not very good at playing. <laughs> I'm already not good at playing the champions I know. Don't ask me to play too many other ones. Oh, what if like... What if like... Kyori was like kindred. Think about it. There's like two wolves. Kindred is like two parts, two halves. It's the girl who's very sweet, and then like the wolf. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Um. And then and then. Hey hey hey! Don't diss don't diss Hio. Don't say anyone's like Ivern. <laughs> Ivern's got like a happy uncle energy, you know. Just like Daisy, my girl. You're like, <laughs> oh my god, Lulu. Lulu's cute too. Lulu's an oddball. Mm. 
Come on, it's Rek'Sai! No! Stop giving us weird, ugly ones. They should at least be cute. At least be cute, okay. Um... At least give someone like, I don't know, Nami or Miss Fortune or the other e-girl ones. Is anyone Nico? I don't think anyone's quite that hyper to be Nico. Nico's very like innocent happy. What else is there? Hmm. Poppy? Poppy's very normal. Kiana? Kiana's very queenly. Rel. Rel's too, like, goody. Sejuani, Senna... Shivana... No one's a dragon. <laughs> Sona? Is anyone Sona Soraka? I don't think we're that e-girl, right? We're not Sona Soraka level. Yeah, I was thinking maybe less than Kiana, right? Riven for Tomoe? Oh... Maybe. Kind of like... Cool energy. A Kali for Lethe? I don't know if Lethe gives off the aura. Um, I, sorry, I only think of like KDA when I think of a Kali, so like. <laughs> I don't think she can rap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yumi fits not know too well. Besides, Sona and Soraka are like soft girl, but they're not like. They're not like the. Yay! Sumi's like Yumi vibe. I think those are most of the girls. <gasps> Zaya. Zaya wife material. <laughs> who's the Zaya and who's the Rekon? We don't have any good ships up yet. We need to we need to make more ephemera ships. <laughs> Lua Zaya? Oh! I... Lua's not that... Cutting, though. Lua's like... I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's like, um... I don't know, she's more like... Soft and sultry, you know? Mimi's Lissandro? I do like Lissandro, but... <laughs> I'm more of a... gremlin -y Type. So I would agree with the... Uh, I would agree with like... I don't know. Because Morgana is very chuny bill. Vex! <laughs> I actually really love Vex. I'm never good at playing her, but, I, but the first time I ever played Vex, um, I got like a triple kill with her R. And I was like, this is the champ! I love her so much! She's so like edgy and gloomy and chuny and like... And the Yordle. I love her. And I mean, I can't really like... I can't really like do the same anymore. You have to really aim your R, right? But like, I kind of just aim it in and then go in and unga bunga and I can't get out. <laughs> oh no, they didn't die. I don't get the reset. Oh no. Briar? No, none of us are Briar. Okay, we're not that Menheda. <laughs> we're not that Menheda. We're just Gramheda. Anivia? Oh my god, as being the bird? Mimi is Nar. Nar is a good boy. <laughs> I don't... I don't... See it, but... He's a good boy. Ron for Gwen? Really? This, Ron is kind of dorky. Is she ever, like... That spooky? Or... I don't know. Doll-like? Diana for Lua? Maybe. Like, Maiden of the Night. Volibear, you already... Stop that! <laughs> yeah, what is this? You already slander. <laughs> I said she could be something like Kindred. Like the... Have the lamb side, the sweet side, and then the wolf side, you know? Gwen's dorky. She doesn't know about stuff because she's a doll. Yeah, but she also wants to snip people up. <laughs> exactly! Um... Does Ren want to snip people up? You know, I don't know. Maybe she has a secret Yanade side I haven't seen before because... The senpais... The senpais are only ever nice to us, right? So we see them all through a lens of, oh, they're all so nice and helpful. <laughs> mm. Fiddlesticks? Kyori never gets mean and scary, you weirdo. Quinn! Wait! Wait! Shouldn't Lua be Quinn? <laughs> I feel like that works way better, don't you think? She's not exactly Zaya, 
But she's like better better suited for Quinn because Quinn is less like harsh, in my opinion. Nami for Camille? Camille? Oh yeah, Nami is uh Nami does have a bit of a like a darker side, doesn't she? <laughs> I can agree with that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, shouldn't Okay, which one was Charlotte? Which one's Charlotte Senpai? Valor my true Oshi true. It has to be a yordle, doesn't it? It has to be a yordle and it has to be a yordle with a mouth. The most gal champ? That is she. Oh, you know what? Yeah, one of the normal girls would be for she. Like, I don't know. Just a cute little girl. That's like a... <laughs> Lux? I'm not gonna lie, Lux, but maybe a maybe yordle version. Um... Like, I don't know, Poppy? Poppy? Like a pretty normal girl, pretty happy girl. Tristana, maybe. Yeah, Tris, Tris is a slightly bit edgier than Poppy, but yeah. <laughs> wait, but wait, wait, wait. But my mod is just like a regular chatter, though. <laughs> He's not like staff or anything. I told you guys I modded. I might mod some more people in case, like, it's just like whoever I ask that is like. Commonly here and doesn't mind helping out because because short chat is crazy. <laughs> and then there's always these random spammers that try to speak in a different language, and I have to like go translate it, and then it's just like them saying dumb stuff in the, the other language. I don't have time for that. I <laughs> yeah, it's not staff. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't have any staff that's like modding or anything. They're just like, they just tell us to, um, ask people that we're, are gonna like, always show up, you know? Always show up and have a good judgment is all. If you guys see, like, you guys who say like crazy stuff, you're automatically out. Sorry, you can't be a mod for me. <laughs> I don't trust your judgment. <laughs> yeah, vertical streams are scary. I just see a billion people get sniped. And like, even then, yeah, Hyo just does a lot of shorts because they're they're easy to do. I agree. If you just want a zatsu, I'm not like a very zatsu only type of person. I like doing a zatsu with a theme. But if I do a zatsu with a theme, then I can't stay on topic if it's shorts chat constantly coming in and out. Even if they're like, even if they're not like intentionally being like weird or intentionally being annoying they're just gonna constantly be like who are you what does your model do like are you 3d like show face <laughs> i just don't wanna i don't know i don't think that's like a good conversation to to keep going <laughs> yeah he thinks it's hilarious and she's fine with like dealing with random kids I I feel like I in, I will like damage my reputation that way. You know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna come in, and I'm gonna say something sassy, and they're gonna be like, "This girl's kind of mean." Mm. <laughs> they're not gonna get it. I even had a Maro that was like, "Um, why are your like morals and replies so mean?" I'm like, "Oh gosh, uh, this is why it's hard to indicate tone across text." I like. I, I I need you all to hear my voice when I say this stuff, right? Like when I when I say this stuff, like, hey, that's not it, or like, no, I'm not like play to. I'm only play to like free to play, not pay to win or whatever. I, I I'm like I use a lot of exclamation marks, and you guys can envision that in my voice. But like someone who doesn't really know, we're gonna be like, this girl's yelling at me. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that's true. Actually, actually, I am not funny. Um, I'm just mean, and you guys just don't take it seriously. Smile. <laughs> Let's get away with it. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, like the people that ask, yeah, are you an anime girl twenty times, or are you an AI, or say this, say my name. If you say my name, I'll follow you. I'm like, okay. I don't care if you follow me or not at that point. You clearly don't understand what's going on. Or like uh, Koha said, like she was doing an ASMR short and then someone was like, can you speak louder? <laughs> not the point, buddy. 
Yeah, exactly. They'll be like those girls yelling at No, 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 no. They'll be like, though, they're yelling at me. I've never had a girl yell at me before. Pian. <laughs> My league bot. <laughs> no! I would play any other game if I could, guys. But, you know, league doesn't require perms. <laughs> yelling is just loud ASMR. Uh, can you sleep to it? Loud yelling to relax and sleep to. And it's just... An hour of me going... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No one was... No one's ever been rude in my Marl, so... So... I legitimately was like... I don't know where you're seeing this. I look at my past Marls and was like... Did I say something? Like, in a way I shouldn't? I feel like people were just teasing me. It's obviously a tease too. Like... Maybe if you don't know me and think like oh i really care about this but most people are like can't believe you're playing neopets or like get good or something like stupid you know <laughs> like can't believe you're playing league like okay if i actually took offense to that i don't think i should be a i just don't think i should be a streamer like if my skin was that thin <laughs> i don't think <laughs> i'd have what it takes I, if everyone had to only ever be nice to me ever and only we only say happy nice things forever yeah animal crossing is more that would be fun <laughs> for me i don't know about you guys <laughs> oh by the way i beat i beat snow wars did you see i beat snow wars i beat the whole 10 rounds of people you can redo every like person until you win i beat them all and i got the first place trophy let's go i never had to play snow wars again let's go yeah i know just in time to uh just in time to start stream <laughs> it's okay i didn't have to prepare anything right it's fine we're just not doing um she broke our two days off rule on the second week <laughs> girl yeah i don't know i i want to do another stream this week actually but, um, another thing I do is I look at the schedule and look at the calendar for everyone else. And I see, like, so many other people doing, like, really big collabs or big streams. And, and like, I don't want to, like, encroach on anything important. Like, I, I just don't want to, like, be like, oh, <laughs> this person's releasing some important thing, but I'm going to stream this silly game. <laughs> And, um, yeah, that tree, that tree. I should have burned it. Set it on fire. It's not a children's game. You play it. Shush. What do you think of the animation I did of one of your chibi art? What? Oh, wait. When did you do that? Is it a tag on something? Because I, I need to, like, I need to check and see that sort of thing. I don't know if I've seen it. As long as you don't overdo, overlap anything important. Yeah, the problem is, like, all of us have. Only so many hours of the day that we can stream, unfortunately. Cole has an insane schedule. Cole likes streaming a lot. <laughs> I like it too, but I feel like I'll die. <laughs> I feel like I'll run out of... <laughs> I'll run out of mana. Especially there's a lot of things that I've been saying I want to do. And I haven't had the time to do it yet. Like... I wish I could get them done at the same time as I stream. Unfortunately, that's not how recording works. <laughs> and preparing assets and, and slides and, and all that fun stuff. Um, And then, let's see. No sleep week for me. <laughs> it's pretty hard to catch everything live. There are things you just have to make sacrifices for and there are things that you have to just call it a day and be like, this... This is... A VOD. You know, this this can be a VOD. It's fine. <laughs> if you don't want to participate in it, um, like actively, some games can just be a VOD and that's fine. Two times speed, my beloved. I speak too fast for two times speed, but I feel like 1.5... 1.5 might be okay? Who knows? Yeah, but work. <laughs> Mumba stream call in sick. No! I was so, so undecisive. Indecisive, I mean, about my week. So I put 
a week in, especially because we were playing League late at night, so uh, that's my bad. Um, but like, <laughs> that was my bad. Um, <laughs> but like, um, we uh, we 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 only had like a few hours left at that point to fill in our schedules, so it was kind of like what I already had down. Um, but yeah. I decided, okay, I'll do a Sunday member stream, but I kind of want to do something else, like... I don't know, I kind of want to do something Saturday, too. Wait, Lefe, Lefe is doing um membership opening on either Saturday or Friday. So I have to... I have to watch out for that. <laughs> Let me look at it again. You can understand me on two times speed, really? Nice. Do something tomorrow? No, no, no. Tomorrow I have to prepare for Wednesday. No, 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 no. <laughs> um. See, I also. I guess a little bit update. Um, they didn't actually get back to me about the like room stuff yet. Like they didn't actually. I thought it was gonna be this week, right? Last week, I mean. Uh, I thought it was gonna be really disruptive. That's why I played like. Smaller games, which is fine. It was like stuff I wanted to do anyway. But it looks like they're they delayed it because insurance is like, you know, not wanting to take ownership and being uh, dumb and like I don't know not wanting to like pay for stuff, so I don't know when it'll be. But but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> If anything, I'll try and make sure it's on one of the days I'm not streaming anyway. And if I can't do an extra stream, that's fine. It was gonna be a gorilla anyway. Is the Wednesday visit cemetery too? <laughs> uh, for your wallet. Um, but yeah, so... I am just like kind of waiting on them for that. So I don't want to like overbook myself if I have to cancel again. I want to leave some days open. I'm still gonna play the Doranko Doranko One Golden Team. It's so cute. Okay, I said I wanted to play it, so I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play that Friday. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little pump in a big room. I'm gonna get as much money as possible everywhere. <laughs> I still want to play more Relink though. I really want to play Relink. I have a million things I want to do. That's the problem. And I keep thinking of like I really want to invite people for collabs. Especially senpais, but I need to like plan it. I, I don't want to be like, hey, do you just want to do this insert random game that could be played with any other person for a collab. You know, I want to like cater it to something that they would enjoy and something that would like be fun for everybody. We link grind. Yeah, I want to play Gorilla Monster Train Saturday. That's true. Everyone was like giving me different things about what I should play. I actually want to play games with members first for member stream, so maybe we'll like discuss content ideas and schedule and then we can maybe play a game together. A simple game though. I, I assume it has to fit a lot of more people in the first few ones anyway. She likes horror games. Ugh, I don't like horror games though. So. <laughs> Would you ask Arena to play Magic the Gathering? Do I know how to play? <laughs> Orbicles diving. Mm -hmm. Simple league game. Uh. There's a lot of league collabs going on though. But you guys can play something with me. I don't know. We can do um. You can do a vote on the day of, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe the day before. We'll do it. After membership opening, maybe, and then um, and then everyone can vote on what game they want to play. Mm -mm. Catering to who you ask. Yeah, yeah, true. I want to make sure that they actually like enjoy the game and are good at it, that sort of thing. But also, it'd be interesting for you guys, right? I also want to play games with them, but like just I had to hang out, <laughs> just to hang out. And then with so many girls in the company, everyone is playing a lot of like overlap games right now. It is what it is. I also want to do ASMR. I want. <laughs> I've been trying to get time to do the ASMR recording that I said I was gonna do, and I can't believe it's April already. I was gonna release it last month. I'm so sad. 
I have a... Like, the first half of a script that I wanted to do. But I want to edit it. Although, after a membership opening... After a membership opening, I'm gonna, like... And after, like, my room stuff is situated, maybe... I'll buy a second mic. I'll buy a second mic. And try a different setup. Mm -mm -mm. Live during member stream? Uh... I can do a member-only ASMR live if you want, but... I feel like live is... You can't, like, edit it, and you can't, like, edit in triggers, so it just doesn't sound very good. At least with this... My current level of setup. But, I mean, it's, like, good for practice, I wouldn't mind. I don't have enough emotes for sure, I don't... <laughs> I need to get a few more placeholders. Let's see. Um... We asked, we asked about permissions for more games, though, so... We'll see. Um... Mm. Let me answer some of the girls. You have an eye and mouth placeholders ready? <laughs> oh, you like with the emotes where it's just like... Like that? <laughs> like one half of the face or something? How much of the emo can you even see? I'm like trying to envision it here. Just like screenshot of just like that, and I just make different faces. <laughs> Something like that. Kuroko and Hiyoru. Oh, hmm. Oh, you like my Anamana ASMR? Really? I was I was worried. Okay, here's the thing, right? Obviously, I can't give myself ASMR with my voice. I can give myself ASMR with trigger sounds that I like. If it, like, is tingly, then I... I understand that that was good. But I can't really tell if I said a certain word in a good way or not. Especially because my preferences are different than other people's. So, like... I personally... I got a lot of different feedback. Like, people said they like S sounds. And I don't... I don't really like S sounds. I actually try to DS it sometimes. But if you guys like S sounds, to keep that in. And then, like, people like, um... What else? Like, I like the... Like, the the ba ba kind of noises a lot more, but I don't think people like them as much. Mm hmm. Look, sounds are also pretty nice. You like the S sounds? Really? It's just, it's very sibilant, right? Um... The Wii's Evo. Oh my god, I'm not an artist. I can do my best. I'll learn... I have an iPad I got. Because I wanted to stream drawing, but I don't know how to, like, stream it. I need to figure out how I can capture it and stream it. And then we can we can doodle together. I'm horrible at drawing, though. I can draw very, very slowly. But I don't really know how to do, like, digital. But I, I, would, I would do some emote drawing and member drawing and stuff. That would be fun. <laughs> Anything longer would be great? Yeah, I mean, I would definitely want to do, like... The goal... The goal is, like live streams like live stream asmr the goal is recording better stuff um and more triggers and stuff like that i'm just like mentally noting what people like at the moment <laughs> i think people usually like bassy sounds right so bassy sounds are like the low tapping and then the lower lower like whispering and stuff like that um i like hmm but I like... I, so I'm like... Very like... Attention... Scattered. Even when I listen to ASMR... Like... Even if I'm interested in the topic... Like say it's a roleplay... And I want to know what happens... I really want there to be trigger sounds. Either incorporated or in the background. So sometimes... I used to like... Open two windows. And one would be a no talking triggers only video. And one would be a talking video. And that's like the best of both worlds to me. Right? Because sometimes like the no talking videos... They're, they're like... They pick up triggers better. Because their mics made for like the sound. And not for um, your voice. Right? So it makes the sound really crisp. And then the talking ones are like the opposite. Right? They're better for the voice. Um, so I understand why they don't mix all the time. 
and like the quality is not great so i'll play both but i can't do that on my phone and i can't do that on my phone so i can't like fall asleep to it so i get bored if there's no talking but if there's only talking and no sounds i also don't follow <laughs> so i i want to make my stuff something similar where i can spend time like whispering and stuff like that but have triggers in the background so my ideal would be like i i could at least pre-record a lot of triggers to play in the background if i'm not able to do triggers at that time you know that's why like my onomatopoeia ones i put um some background noises in if you notice um the first one had light like hair brushing that was not me though i was like a i took a Someone else's hair brushing sounds and someone else's um, cat purring sounds. Because I don't have a cat either. But the second one was me. I did the typing myself. <laughs> I did a light ASMR type typing and I and I recorded it. Mm. You hear cupping and heartbeats? That is if I get the appropriate mic for that sort of thing. <laughs> I don't know. 300 bucks. <laughs> it's hard because um, settings and editing makes... A world of difference, so I don't know what sounds good live yet. You know? Do the purring myself. <laughs> League molding ASMR. That's just you'll see soon, you know. Um and then and then let's see. So like, I don't know, do you guys like light typing? Is that okay? I like water sounds. Um, if I were doing the water sounds live. It would be a lot like more spaced out. I edited it so it was like short and next to each other and overlapping, right? There's like multiple at the same time, but I have two hands and I I can't do it. And then sometimes you do the slosh a little too hard and it doesn't sound as good. <laughs> so I cut those out. I cut the, out the bad parts and put them together in the short. Um, I guess like it's okay live because you understand that it's live anyway. No, the water sounds okay. It's in um, it's 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 in um, like those little like glass things. Okay, it's like contained. Okay, I learned my lesson. I gotta stop doing it. But I like water pouring sounds. Mm. <sighs> I didn't get a random stray cat. <laughs> I was a stray cat. It was me, me. It was cute, right? The um, cat beans that I found. Wait, do you guys want to see it? Hang on. Let me see if. I can do it. Let me see. Da 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 da. Ba da ba da. Ba da. Oh, meow meow. And then zoom in. And then. And then, and then you can do this. So the fun part is like... It's like... Rigged... In a way where it's responsive. It's not like fully... Um... It's not like fully tracking. Um... It just... You can do this. You can squeeze the bean. <laughs> it's just certain keys. Meow! Yeah! <laughs> and then they like if you put if you touch this, like look the uh the the, the what does you call it the, the the claws come out. But I don't know the buttons. I just randomly press them. Where's the bean button for the left one? I don't know. It's not working. It's so cute. Whoever made this was like a genius. I keep pressing the button that accidentally makes my eyes close. <laughs> I need to fix that one. Adopt my own name, me. Mm -hmm. It's Mew Me. I do press random buttons all the time. Yeah, cats don't usually like it if you pet their toe beans. But it's okay, you can pet my toe beans as much as you want. Mm. <laughs> They're holding paws, flushed, <laughs> flushed, flushed. <laughs> what 
What if we were both cat girls and we were holding paws? You have this beautiful uh, nail polish, though, right? <laughs> That's amazing. Oh! Hello! <laughs> hello! Welcome, welcome! Hope you guys had a great April Fool's Day! Um, I am not a cat. I am a witch. But I am a cat right now. <laughs> Cats can become witches and witches can become cats. That's how it works, right? Hello, readers. Um, I am Vanessa Kali. I'm from your house. Little fortune telling witch. I am Magical Mimi. You can call me Mimi or Mew Me in this form. And you can touch the toe beans. Look at that. And touch the toe beans. I already did some fortune telling today. Through truly, um, truly unique means. If you want to uh, take a look <laughs> earlier, we're at the VOD. Which is that doing a little bit? Hope yeah, I had a good stream though. But yeah, you can also hear my keyboard this way, can't you? My mics are pretty sensitive. Oh, it's an ASMR stream. Wait, uh, uh, am I not too loud for an ASMR stream? I kind of feel bad. Ah, ah, ah! My My BGM's too loud. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We're making them up on oh, now. On oh, you. No. I'm not a cat, meow. I'm I'm a witch that can turn into a cat. Many witches can turn into cats. Hmm. <laughs> I do ASMR right now, except I don't. I don't have a. Okay. 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 Oh, uh meow. -uh. Oh, meow. Actually, my settings have my settings have like noise removal and noise speed, so I don't think it's very good for ASMR. <laughs> I don't think it'll work very well. Maybe if I lower it, then you you're gonna hear like the static. Maybe mo me ma, maybe mo me ma. This is this is mono though. This is not stereo mic, so unfortunately, there's no uh, there's no stereo binaural effect whatsoever.
ーい<笑>バックミミミミモードうんうんうん It was pretty funny at one point in my life um I gave a presentation in like middle school or something and I feel like I've said this before but like I think I unintentionally gave people ASMR because I used a very quiet voice because I rep I I like it was like not whispering it was like soft speaking I did it in like I did the recording at like 2 a.m. so I was like and this and this is why and this is the history of this place in 1925, the USA was... Like, I, I used that voice. And I think it gave people unintentional ASMR when they watched my presentation. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hmm. Yeah, so it's user. Can you speak louder? <laughs> I want to get better at, like, soft speaking. Soft speaking ASMR, too. I feel like soft speaking ASMR is, like, actually what I listen to the most. Because, like... Whisper, you can't catch as many details, right? For the roleplay. But soft speaking is like, it's like cozy and intimate and you can still listen to it during the day. So it's pretty nice. But I have a very like sharp voice. So I always worry that it'll be too jarry and too, too bright and loud, you know? Oh, yeah, um, um, American history is somewhere. No, there's definitely more cases of American history ASMR. You know, like when you listen to lectures and they're so boring that they put you to sleep? That's the perfect amount of ASMR. It's perfect amount. Mm -hmm. And then, um... <laughs> and then, like, what else is there? There's, like, unintentional ASMR when, like, at the spa, you know... Okay, I, I don't usually like, go to the spa or something like that, but, uh... When, like, they're like, just like, is this okay? Is this pressure okay? Do you, do you want, like, okay, let me wash your hair now. Okay, you feel good? Perfect. Can you turn your head for me? And, like, it feels so comforting. That's my favorite ASMR. <laughs> Bob Ross iPad ASMR. Oh, okay, I can draw a very unhappy looking tree. <laughs> Yeah, I got toe beans. Look at it. I can press them. Press the bean. Yeah. Yeah, whenever you get a haircut, it's just so nice. But haircuts are really expensive for girls, so I, I don't go that often. I go occasionally to get, like, a very long-lasting treatment. You know? Yeah, it's gonna be an unhappy tree because my painting skills suck. So bad. I don't even know how to do blending mode yet. I got an iPad to learn how to use Procreate, but I don't know how to use blending mode yet. <laughs> Someone needs to like hold my hand through it. <laughs> Happy little accidents. It's gonna be like, oops, oops, oops. And then the, the end is like some hellish landscape. And it's like, it's okay. It's okay if it doesn't look like a, a mountain or tree or something. <laughs> It's so funny. Mm. Maybe Koha? What do you mean? Koha from like... To do... To do... ASMR? Or, or like... She can teach me how to use Procreate. Can she teach me how to do Procreate? <laughs> I feel like I should ask Tomoe. Tomoe is our resident artist. She actually draws her own emotes. I do not know. I will draw some placeholder emotes though. Mm. Mm. Oh, she was using Procreate for emotes? Okay, so she was streaming her iPad? I get the impression you have to use something that's not... You can't just like plug it in. <laughs> Can you just plug it in? Usually you can't screen cap capture that way, right? So maybe you need a screen capture? But I don't know. My, like, game capture stuff is for, like, the Switch. I'm not sure if it would, like... It would... Capture my iPad, so I'll ask them, yeah. Typing Tascaru? Yeah, I like typing ASMR a lot, you know? Okay, you want me to do a ASMR real quick? 
<laughs> we don't even have the right mic. I feel bad. Everyone just got so into it. Yeah, I have the Elgato. So it's not like... It's not very good for anything that's not a game. I don't think. Hi, it's Meow Me. It's true, it's Meow Me. I have something on my PC that allows me to airplane my iPod to my PC. Oh. Is there laggers and stuff? Is it okay if your PC is like a PC and not a Mac? Okay. Let's do... Let's do a short segment. <laughs> I'll do... I'll do a quick segment, okay? <laughs> Let me see. There's some more... Elfred scouts for... For, uh, uh, uh... What scenario do you guys want? <laughs> that only involves typing and no other triggers that I have on hand. <laughs> I'll just Google it. You have to pay for it, but it's a one-time payment. Hmm. I mean, if it's not too hard to use, I'll look it up. Hmm. Teacher? As a cat? <laughs> As a cat? Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Mm. Hey, Google. You're in charge of a prison intake? Why is it so evil all of a sudden? Typing of the dead is the worst. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll just wing it then. I'll just wing it. Okay. Um, the scenario is... The scenario... Practice scenario for ad living is... Um, there's a cat girl who's a receptionist and also in charge of, um, um, getting your information. <laughs> okay, you guys have to play along though, okay? <laughs> oh, Hanya! Hello, you're early today. So, I'm assuming you're in for the appointment that's supposed to be at... 11.15pm, is that correct? Um, can I just double check your name? Mm hmm Okay. That's an interesting name. Does that... Is that a nickname? You have a last name you go by. Okay. Can you spell that for me though? It's a little long. Um, mm hmm Okay. And your date of birth? Yeah, we just need to confirm just in case there's someone else with uh, the same name, you know? Okay. And... What are you here for today? Oh, okay. I see. So you're here today for... What was it? What game was it? Oh. League of Legends Anonymous. Mm-hmm. And how often a week you said you played? Oh, okay. So you play six out of seven days. And how long would you say that the sessions ran? Okay, okay. No less than one hour, but average time three hours. Mm, I see. It's a pretty serious case, so, um, I'm gonna have to ask a little bit more information about you so we can match you with a group that will support your needs. Mm -hmm. I'm first of all, I need to let you know you're very brave for coming here today, um, especially this, this kind of underdiagnosed addiction. It's affecting a lot more people um, than is usually reported. People are usually, you know, get embarrassed or they get scared to admit this word of addiction. But we have a few sessions that are available. We have some of them matched within um, different play styles and some of them matched within different ranks. Okay, so can I let you know, um, let you know right now that um, your rank, it's not going to matter. So please just report it more accurately just you know we just don't want to put people who are new to the game 
and new to this addiction with people who have been playing since like season two you know it's it's just going to make them confused so what rank would you say you average not like your not your highest but the one you play in the most if you rank mm, okay okay it's okay i do have um a cat paw designed keypad so it's it's um able to type what i mean with the less desk strict um de dextrous strokes of cat paws mm -mm. unranked okay okay oh okay but you have also been um higher in previous seasons i see i understand like different seasons different meta and do you play tft at all would you say you played more or less tft than regular league mm -hmm. and would you say you mostly played a rum competitive or um any other like fun modes mm -hmm. okay so less tft mostly um mostly aram that's fine okay and on a scale of one to ten one being not that much ten being all the time would you say you raged during these games of yours so one being i am super zen and i never rage 10 being i rage every single game i play okay okay pretty high levels mm, of aggression mm. and here's the thing do you usually rage at yourself or the opponent so for example do you feel upset because you feel you're not performing at a good level? Do you feel you're missing your skill shots? You're missing cannon? You're upset if you don't start off with a perfect game? Or are you more upset that your opponents are being sweaty or your other teammates are just throwing? It can be a little bit of both. Yeah, just let me know what percentage you think. Mm -hmm. Okay. How often do you abuse chat or pings? And abuse means you don't use them in the correct way. So if you're just giving it, you know, important information, that's fine. But if you s use words such as GG, easy, if you say jungle, diff, if you say bot throwing or report our player or ff any of those okay so not really the terms just okay playing on mute okay that's healthy mm -hmm. but how often do you question mark ping others and how often do you use in not toxic per se but just how often do you flash your masteries and how often do you emote upon any sort of victory okay yes and yes spamming spamming any sort of emote spamming any sort of um animation sounds those all count okay understood Alrighty. Um, how often do you solo queue? And how often do you usually play with a group? Now this often is a mix, of course, but we want to know if you are the type of person that will just hop on by yourself or you play more socially, you know? Okay, always oh, solo, I see. Okay, follow-up question. Do you think this experience would be improved if you had more friends to queue with? And, of course, it could depend on their level of playing, but either in a more casual way or you guys could be ranking together. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, feel free to add any information if you need. Mm -hmm. And have you had good experiences playing with other people in the past? So like, would you say that playing with people that are better or worse than you had an adverse effect on your playing or you were able to relax more? Okay. Hmm. Your friends are more toxic. That is a little bit of a problem. Hmm. We do have programs here where, um, you know, we know that it's going to be a multi-step process to cutting it off. Cutting it off cold turkey is probably going to cause more of a rebound effect than intended. So we do try to pair people who are in similar situations and are have compatible play styles to first work together and try to find a more healthy way to enjoy the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We do have some people that enjoy carry if that is your wish or if you on the other hand enjoy carrying others we have some new players that you know while they enjoy the game they are not enjoying it in a healthy relationship um and if perhaps you can show them how to get better at the game while helping carry that might improve their relationship with the game um does often track that different elos have different toxic lobbies so lower lobbies for example have a lot of people that don't know too much about the game yet but are extremely easily demotivated by their own playing style or the playing styles of others despite the fact that they're all still you know learning whereas higher lobbies have higher instances of people who call others out for feeding or obvious um, bot behavior and throwing because the game is not always the most secure, you know? And sometimes breaking up the cycle can help, you know? Trying different elos, trying different modes. Um, unfortunately, I am I am proud to say that I am starting my next step in my own rehabilitation process. So I, I've i moved on from the need to rank and I've moved on from um, su uh, Summoner's Rift only. So I am currently at a phase where I am mostly playing for fun. I'm trying to keep the sessions maximum like three times a week and then later on um we'll give you a journal you can note which times you played and you get a sticker each time that you play less than you know less than an hour and you get two stickers each day you manage to skip it entirely mm -hmm. and when you accumulate enough stickers so after getting 10 stickers, we will give you your very own badge, a little name badge for yourself here. So instead of, you see the sticky note that you write your name on that says my name is? Yeah, we give you a permanent badge instead so you can pin it. And then on higher levels of stickers, we exchange the badge for more higher quality ones so you can have different frames you can basically get all of the fun parts of ranking higher in league but in real life and with real people yeah so you see this rainbow badge this rainbow badge is pretty good it's a hundred stickers mm -hmm. and you can get platinum badges you can get diamond badges you got Grandmaster badges only when you've managed to cut League out of your life for a year. And that's a pretty big deal, so we try to reward it accordingly. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Now, if that sounds good for you today, um, can you just please sign this paper right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... 
one would you like to sign up for? The first session. First session is an intro session, so it's not going to require much of you. Just, just bring your, like, just bring your usual uh, summoners, rift uh, name, account, account history. Mm hmm. Okay, good. Alrighty. We'll see you back soon then, okay? And good luck with that. We're here to promote healthy relationships with games in the future, and we also offer a more fun, dynamic, and improvement in your overall life. So let's work hard together to meet and develop better relationships in real life and find better games to play. Mm. Okay. See you later, nya. Was that fun? <laughs> it's okay if you're not into ASMR, you can just watch the Tobins go. Meow! <laughs> can you repeat that? Um, yeah, I'm sorry, all my ASMRs are probably gonna be kind of sassy. <laughs> that was actually... That wasn't that much of a roast, okay? It wasn't that much of a roast. <laughs> I'm a cat, actually. <laughs> I feel like I got exposed. <laughs> it's fun, right? Isn't it fun to write these kind of things together? <laughs> I only have typing right now, but... In the future, I can get more... More triggers to go. Alrighty, um... So, on that note, I am going to be... I am going to be... Reading into... My dearest darling is Heo, who has decided she was going to sh stream right now. <laughs> I might join her, actually. Um, as a surprise, I might join her. Smiles. Yeah, I love pencil scratching triggers. That was like my cafe one, right? Um. <laughs> How kind of her to give you a retarget. <laughs> yep. She's doing the gorilla. In fact, um, she asked if I wanted to join too. So I was like, alrighty, just ping me. Ping me when I, you want me to raid. <laughs> Ikuzo. Let me add the redirect right now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's Shimpio at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> raid message? Um, what, what, what would you want to say? Read message. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this is on paper. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I have that much paper to cut, but <laughs> I'll try. Yummy. Yummy read. Shouldn't it be more like shrimp? She's a shrimp right now, right? So. Shouldn't it be more like. Praise, praise the ship, yeah, or, or... <laughs> League of Dictionary. <laughs> shrimp fried, yeah, you telling me a shrimp fried with this rice? Wait, 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 wait. You telling me a shrimp fried with this rice? Weird. Make sure you say right at the end, otherwise they'll start banning you guys for... <laughs> for, um, spam. Okay. I'll see you guys, maybe. I'll, I'll join on the stream. It's been a fun April Fool's. I hope you had a good three and a half hours here. Meow! We did a lot of fun things. <laughs> See you on Wednesday. See you on Wednesday. For Meow Bishops. Yeah, Meow Bishops. Ikuzo. Ikuzo. Magical Mimi.